Get ready for the only podcast proven to control tartar and fight gingivitis. Nobody likes onions. Thursday morning, lots of warnings, who knows what today is going to bring, look everybody, I, you know, I already see Giroux in the chat saying he hates my musical take, do you think that I like, this is the greatest show by Hugh Jackman from the hit soundtrack the greatest show. Do you think I like that music? Do you think that's like loaded up in my playlist to like listen to when I go doing things out and about? You don't know what my taste in music is. You have no clue. I listen to mostly the mamas and the papas. So I'll kill every goddamn last one of you. Let me tell let me tell all you guys with opinions out there something. I don't give a shit. I guess I've uh, pissed off the uh, guy from the, is it Brian? From the Total BS show? Because I said couples casts don't work. And now that guy's, last night, I guess he did a stream called Watching NLO Watch Steel Toe, where he just constantly complained about how I talk over Steel Toe. It's like, you put on a DVD commentary track and then you're complaining that they're talking over the movie. Just go watch Steel Toe on your own. Don't name your stream watching NLO watch this. Like, just watch that then. I don't know. Like, like it seemed he, he was like, this guy's so hateful. He just talks over stuff. Now he's going to sing and do his voice effects. It's like, it sounds like you don't like NLO. <laughs> Maybe don't watch NLO. It seems to be getting you very upset. Why is everybody upset? When I don't like something, I just don't watch it. I sure don't like call a guy hateable when I don't know anything about him. And again, you may be like, Patrick, he really got to you. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I was friendly with the guy. I like the guy. He's the guy who did the uh, the cover song of the Nirvana. When they can find a steel toe. And they do the couples cast. And I said the thing about, I guess you and your wife shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't do a show with your wife. It's going to fall apart like steel toe. It's all fine and fun when you're small, you know. But anyway, like people here like the singing. People here like the talking over the stuff. You know, you get guys like Kevin Brennan who are like, Melton's great because Melton doesn't pause things. And it's like Melton does pause things. And then you'll get guys who are like, oh, he's pausing it and talking again. It's like. Yeah, man, sometimes I talk over stuff. It's my channel. <laughs> like, it'd be insane of me to put on Steel Toe and be like, I wish he'd shut up. We're trying to hear the story he's playing. So I don't know. I, don't know. I found it very weird. Like, again, you're, you're running a stream where I, I watched 20 minutes of it. Like, the guy just setting up OBS to watch me stream. I don't know what you're mad at me about. This guy's hateable. Ugh. He won't shut up. By the way, then I shut up and and uh, Mubi was talking and he goes, nobody cares about this movie. Oh, this is so boring. And it's like, well, what do you want, honey? I don't know. I don't know how to make everyone happy. So imagine me trying. My advice is don't watch things you don't want to watch. There's 90 shows streaming this this morning. You have your choice. I'm sure there's four of them streaming me, you know, so you can even go watch me through whatever filter you want. There's probably people laugh watching me and there's probably people hate watching me. So you can put on 
shit colored glasses over your rose colored glasses over your shit colored glasses i don't care it's your kaleidoscope make of it what you will we do a fun morning show around here and i'm not gonna let anybody jerk me out of my mood and by the way go check that show out it's the total bs show those guys seem great and nice again i'm not gonna just shit on them because they do their own thing uh super chat from tim g says ray's interview is going to be wonderful train wreck we got plenty of time to talk about it before that fires up and i imagine 30 minutes past that because wi-fi in a lobby in tulsa jake hudson says somebody sending me one of your shirts patrick you think anything gets sent out of my store that i'm not aware of jake hudson you do have a shirt coming on the way purchased for you by a lovely compassionate fan of this program who headed over to our store at nobodylikesonions.com slash store and is presenting you with a wonderful shirt. A shirt that's about to be pulled out of the store, by the way. You know. So, please, please, please uh, wear the shirt. Take a picture of the shirt. We'd love to see Jake Hudson traipsing the trailer in his shirt. And we'd love to see you wearing something, too. Pick one up at nobodylikesonions.com slash onions total bs has no view counts that's not the point everybody starts small again go check them out go go like their thing i don't know you know again it's insane to put on melton watching something and be by the your, your name of your stream is melton watches this watching melton watch this it's like it's insane to not want to hear melton then again don't put on the commentary track if you want to see the movie i i don't recommend you Fire up, uh, 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 Billy, uh, God damn it. Billy Baldwin and, uh, Kevin Pollock's thoughts on the usual suspect the first time you watch it. Maybe watch it through as intended by the director. I got a nice coffee. How's about you? It's, by the way, drinking this out of the Looney Bin cup, which is where Ray is working this weekend, the Looney Bin in Tulsa. This is where Chad and I met, the same, the very same Looney Ben in Tulsa. And that's just special, 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 isn't it? Uh, Corn Diff is here. Saw some uh, tweet where Corn Diff recently became a member of the Yeehaw Club over at uh, Steel Toe. So big ups to Corn Diff. Welcome to the elite over there at... Uh, at the Steel Toe Yeehaw Club. Again, what is what does that even mean? These guys put no thought into like their branding or anything. Like, we're the Steel Toe Morning Show, and we have the VIP membership and the Yeehaw Club. It's like, are you guys ranchers? Am I watching Hey Dude on Nick at Night? Um, so we like corn. Uh, look, I like corn diff. He's cool. Good luck on the drawing, buddy. <laughs> um, enjoy that. Uh, none of these people's have views. Look, before all this, I was getting 500 views, uh, on my shows on YouTube. So I, I, first of all, you never know what somebody has. Believe me. You, you're like, oh, they're YouTube. They might not be a YouTube guy. Look at uh, Corey, you know, he's on every goddamn platform. It looks like he's getting 14 views per show, but if we add up D Live and Odyssey and Stream Mate and Babble Buddy and, and Cucktube and all the other things he's on, he believe me, he's getting 80 views. So you never know. But um, don't, you know, it's insane to like, I watched this guy like get mad at me in real time and I wanted to reach out and touch him and be like, it's okay. Like you can turn it off. I thought we were cool and friendly because of Twitter. And I watched this guy like develop hate for me. He literally said, he's so fucking hateful about some things. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Are you like, you might want to shut it down. You might not want to do streams where you set up your OBS. If you need to save that energy for a real show. Or maybe that's his way of getting fired up for the show. But I like those guys. I don't want any trouble with them. I, I, I sure wouldn't like put on, look, what's another, like who's somebody else that I like? Well, total be like, again, I don't like put their show on. 
if I'm, you know, I've watched clips and I've tuned into shows. But I don't watch the whole shows. If I started not enjoying it, I would just like turn it off and move on. I wouldn't fire up my stream and say, watching these guys suck. And you could go, Patrick, isn't that what you do with Steel Toe every day? It's a good point. I'll shut up now. Uh, welcome to the stream, guys. We've got a big one today. It's the Ray DeVito entering, uh, interviewing Aaron. I imagine this will only be Aaron. If they're smart, and if you're watching Aaron, and you had planned on uh, trotting April out to be a part of this, recommended that you don't. Recommended that you don't. Now, Patrick, why are you saying this? Look, I genuinely, you know, people might go like, Patrick, you're fucking warning them right now to not put April on. April would be great. She's vulnerable. She's emotional. She might shiver. She might cry. She might break down. That would be amazing. I don't actually hate these people. I, I need you to know this. Talk about someone being hateable. I, I need you to know I don't actually wish these people a bad life. You know, I just talked to this Rodney Wayne guy whose psychopath brother is, like, threatening me and my family. Like, physically, in real, real, you know, he lives here. He's saying he's texting me my address and saying we're coming right now and all this stuff. Like, insane stuff. This all stemmed over a, I'm not joking with you, a 1.5 second segment of the show ripping Rodney Wayne apart, which we posted last week if you haven't seen it. Um, where it showed his kid on his Facebook page as we were scrolling through photos. 1.5 seconds. Nothing. And his brother's coming over to, you know, start shit. And I talked to Rodney yesterday. He's like, dude, just message me to remove it. I'm not a, I'm not an inhuman piece of shit. This is a business. I have to make a living here. These are jokes. This is the internet. As much as Aaron would have you believe that I'm like after people and all this stuff. And it's like, well, Patrick, you're trying to get his YouTube down. Isn't that his livelihood? Yes. Now I am. Yes. Get his YouTube down. I don't give a fuck. And by the way, if you have a problem with me, like, I don't know, that's a little over the... Uh, leave! I've been trying to get you guys to bug off for weeks anyway. I don't need your morals and your scruples to line up with mine. I don't. I don't. So I don't need to explain to you the reasoning behind it and all the stuff and why I turned. I've turned now. I've turned. I hope he does lose his YouTube. It's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. Why? Because he's so brazen about it. Because he deserves it. Because he challenged people to do it. It's like, how many reasons do you need? He corrected one of the, one of the things last night. You know, the gift cards thing he gave away kind of legit. But all the cash drawings, it's like... No, nah, motherfucker, all right. The firearm stuff, like, that is a legitimate thing. Like, look, we're in a time where, like, there's a school shooting every day. The day of a school shooting, he's, like, promoting firearms on a channel when you haven't indicated on that video that you're doing that. But, again, every it's just that every other channel has to follow the rules. Every other channel gets dinged monetarily, and their, their videos demonetized for all this stuff. For honestly... So, for people who don't know, on the back end of YouTube, there's like 30 check boxes you have to go through and say, I talk about firearms, I talk about violence, I talk about uh, inappropriate jokes about people or groups or gender. Like You have to like go through every video and say what this video contains. And one of the most serious areas of that is firearm stuff. And, you, and, and point blank, a video that even promotes any firearm business, it doesn't matter whether the business is licensed and they're okay and they're on the up and up. A video that promotes is not eligible for ad revenue on YouTube, period, period. It's eligible for YouTube premium subscription money and stuff. They promote firearm stuff every day. It's almost a detriment. They're losing money. I guarantee you they're not getting enough from that sponsorship to, to outweigh ad revenue in perpetuity. So it's just the fact that they're so brazen about it, and then they're like, we dare you, motherfuckers. And it's like, all right, well, I'm bored. <laughs> uh, nobody likes onions. The hat you're wearing right now, are they still in the store? I don't think so. I, all this stuff is going to change this month, or, or it was supposed to already be changed, but I'm a little swamped. 
We've got one guy who loses his password to the overdose every day and emails me every day like, it's not working. I needed my password reset. He can't get a password reset email, apparently. I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, for, for whatever reason, now it's just funny to, to watch Aaron's downfall. It, it's, it's pride. It's pride comes before the fall. And as much as everybody wants to sit over here and hate me and think that I'm a piece of shit, it's like, look, I already think I'm a piece of shit. I, I don't think I win anything. I don't, I, I always say, you know, there's no end game to this. There's no winner. <laughs> Do you think there's an end game to fucking with Aaron? He's like, last night he tried to, again, just like he did with the Chad I thing. It's like, we didn't do the Chad I thing, so haters be gone. It's like, that's not why we were here. We were hating on you for a million other things. And now he's going to be like, see, my, my channel didn't get struck last night. I'm still here. Haters be gone. And it's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure the Minnesota Attorney General works a little slower than like bringing your stream down on a on a Wednesday night. So yeah, I love that people are reporting it. I do. I love it now. Fuck them. They challenged everybody last night. Like you're all haters. You're all like, it's like fuck them, fuck them at this point. And if you're like, well, they'll retaliate and strike your stream, it's like, go ahead if there's a legit reason. If I start running a fucking lottery over here, strike me. If I start bullying people and doxing people, strike me. Not what Aaron calls doxing people. If I start doxing people, strike me. I'd love you to do it. Until that point, you can report till the cows come home if there's not a legit reason you know, I don't tell you to go go report Aaron's channel and, and have it until now, you know, for for not liking the show or him being a bully or him being a pussy. Like, that's not reasons to strike Aaron. He knows what he's doing is very wrong. There's a reason that show's taken down. There's a reason you can't go watch his prize night now on YouTube. He knows it's in violation of YouTube rules. Now... I don't know if he's aware of the federal and, and state regulations that he's in violation of, but he is going to be. Dozens of you completed the form last night at nobodylikesonions.com slash winner. Not today, buzzard. Dozens of you completed the form at nobodylikesonions.com slash winner last night. And that uh, information today will be forwarded to an attorney in Minneapolis who is going to be putting together a package, a claim, and sending that over to the appropriate authorities in the AG's office in Minnesota. This is very funny. This is very, very funny. Now you're like, Patrick, What would you like somebody doing that to you? It's like, please gather a group of your closest Tupperware pals and have your local AG put together a package on me and submit it to my local authorities. Please. I'd love to know what you're getting me on. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. Keep it going. Um, it's all fun. It's all games. It's all not real. It's all for shame. Now, today, we have, uh, we have Ray DeVito, who... Confidence is low, you know, coming out of the gate here, confidence is low in Ray DeVito. People think he doesn't have what it takes to do a serious interview. People think he's not confrontational enough. I went over on the show yesterday why Ray glad handing everybody and going along to get it, get along and being everyone's friend and fence sitting and not really, you know, sticking up for yourself is not a good character trait through and through. Um Hopefully he's taking that to heart. I'm sure people like Bob Levy, Kevin Brennan, Chad Zumach, everybody and anybody who's been in his ear, Shuley, about this situation and uh, how to handle this. And everybody's calling this Ray's make or break moment. People are saying if Ray fucks this interview up, he'll he'll never he'll never interview in this town again. That may or may not be true. I don't know. Um, but. I heard Shuley and Bob talking about how Steel Toe could come out of this interview shining and looking great and redeeming themselves. And Shuley was talking about, yeah, we may end up like sign. This is like uh, competing for a spot on the network. Is it going to be Ray or Steel Toe? It's like, first of all, 
in what dream world? And, you know, this is me. This is how you know I'm being honest. Uh, um, in what world is Steel Toe signing to the Shuli Network? You know, they have to beg and scrimp just to hit their goal every day as if they're going to, like, just, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it, as, as if what? Like what? Like he's gonna hand over half the super chats. He's gonna what? It doesn't make sense to me why Bob and Shuli are sitting there like as if Steel Toe's looking for a network to be on. By the way, Steel Toe would be stupid to join Compound Media. Like the, it, this whole like courting thing is all Aaron's narcissism. It's all Aaron's neediness. It's all his seeking validation. It's like me joining the shoe. I'm not joining the Shuli network. I have nothing against Shuli, but you know, I I'm in. I'd make a really good living. Why would I hand over? And by the way, YouTube is nothing. I'm not getting. You know, I, I while I do appreciate your super chats and stuff, it's not that I don't appreciate them. It's just that like, you know, I'm just starting to get YouTube views and dollars. I'm not handing over half of that to a network. And by the way, I, you know, I expect. Six months from now, I'll be back down to 100 viewers on a live show. I don't give a shit. People are really, like, too invested in this stuff. They go like, oh, Melton and Chad, what will they have after this is over? I don't know. I've been doing it for 17 years. I'll probably figure it out. Do you think I didn't have a podcast and then Steel Toe came on my radar, radar so I built all this out and was like, I got to spiral up a show real quick. As if when they go away, I'll have nothing and no one to talk about. Can you imagine it? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So there's been a million pre-shows about this. There's been a million speculatory, you know, shows. Speculatory a word. Anyway, you know, Bob Levy, Kevin Brennan, all eyeballs shall be on this interview today, I will be doing my best to offer, um, you know, <laughs> I'll be doing my best to offer the appropriate amount of commentary. I don't want to make anybody too upset about what I do. You know, I, I forget that everybody has to watch it. You're all in prison and can't reach the remote. So I want to really get the mix right. So I'll be adjusting the taps and really getting it to be a lukewarm show for everyone. Um, it's going to be good. I think I missed a four ninety nine dollars Super Chat, and I apologize. I've been babbling. Uh, let's see if I can scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, well, Spaghetti Tooth John said, uh, I've counted at least six shows streaming this interview. We all have officially lost our minds. That is that is the correct take. Anybody, you know, April was saying that, like, uh, she was saying, like, you know, when I go to bed at night, I don't think about the haters, which is a weird thing to say. That's a weird statement to make. When I go to bed at night, I don't think about the haters, but she, then she said, you know who I do think about? The supporters. I think about the ones who are there for us. People are there for us. It's the supporters, and that's who I think about when I go to bed at night. And it's like, okay, hold on. Both of those things are creepy. Number one, you lay your head down at night and think about your internet YouTube supporters? weird like don't get me wrong maybe you have like a really big show and like you're great joe rogan you know maybe joe rogan lays his head down at night puts his head on his pillow every once in a while and goes like holy shit like look at my life i have so many fans i'm so grateful for being huge and like what a life man this is awesome <laughs> right sure maybe that happens but I can't imagine every night going to bed when I make $300 a stream <laughs> going, where would I be without those super chats, man? Those guys, from your mouth to God's larynx, you know what I mean? From your chest plate to God's entire thorax. 
Just imagine it. Just imagine it. But also, I doubt, I honestly doubt. Oh, no, Brian from Total BS hates my uh, emote explosions, too. He's like, you can't do that. <laughs> you, you can't do that. Can he do that? <laughs> Bex, uh, $2. Patrick's honesty is off-putting? Uh, no, it's not. I thought I deliver honesty in a nice, friendly way. And again, when that guy comes and watches it later, you know, again, go check out Total BS. I, you know, I have nothing bad to say about the man. I don't watch things you don't like. Everybody, don't watch things you don't like. Don't let it upset you, and call somebody hateable. Like that's insane. Nobody's hateable. Turn it off. You know, hate is an emotion on your side. That's you, and you're in full control. You full control of it. When you lay your head down on your pillow at night, you can choose to focus on the supporters or the haters. <laughs> My argument about that is you're not, you can't think about the supporters without thinking about the haters. You can't, you can't lay your head down on your pillow at night and go, I just thank God for all the supporters. <sighs> no, 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 no. Especially in a time of war when winter is coming. Nay, winter is arrived. You know, mount up on the wall, everybody. Winter's here, and there's no way you lay your head down at night right now thinking about all the supporters. You, When you're watching your chat room like a hawk every day, Aaron, is it because of all the love and support? Or are you trying to make sure nobody's saying anything bad? Get that guy out of here. He's not having fun. Bye now. Flimsy Greenberg, this is a great joke, Flimsy. This is a good, this is solid comedy. You want to talk about comedy? Oh, this is a good joke. Because Beck said that my uh, honesty is off putting. Flimsy Greenberg, you know, comes right in with a left hook and says, Patrick looks on pudding, like pudding. In the American sense, the de you know, the dessert. Um, addicted to profits, David. <laughs> of course, she thinks about that. It's not like Aaron is pleasuring her. When I every time I read a comment in that cadence, I feel like you guys are gonna treat me like I'm uh, Bob Levy. Of course, she thinks about that. It's not like Aaron is. <laughs> Bob always trails off at the end of a comment when he gets it. When it clicks for him, he stops reading and laughs. That's how Bob Levy reads comments. Of course, she thinks about that. It's not like Aaron. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. It's like, oh, God. Um. But that's good. That on pudding joke, that's a good bit. That's a good joke. We might have to see about um, getting him hired over here in our writing department. You know, every show gets written by a team of crackpot writers over here. And believe me, they're all underpaid. I'll have you know. Okay. Okay. Um, did it, what, what's going on? I bet Ray, oh fuck, where'd that comic go? I wanted to read it. Uh, here's one, bro. If you doubt Toe is a piece of shit, just listen to an old radio show. He was fired from four years ago, bullying another woman on the station. Yeah, we've already heard it. That's old. I bet Ray would whoop Aaron's ass in a boxing match. Ray seems to be building up his anger. I feel like it would explode in a fury of punches to Aaron's penciled in goatee. I, look, where do we stand on it today? Can we put a poll up? Let's get a poll for the chat. Can, I, can mods make polls or do I have to make polls? I hate polls. Start a poll. Okay. Uh, no, I don't need that. Okay. Um... How does this interview go today? Number A. Ray gets steel toe 
to admit wrongdoing? Steel toe um, worms out of hard questions by deflecting. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I forgot the essence. Steel toe. Um, steel toe doesn't show. Ray doesn't show. Uh, okay, I'm asking my community. Hold on. Hold on, I can't have that many characters. This is good radio. Yeah. Being bad. What we'll have to put being bad. Fuck. Ray good still fucking shit. Um Ray presses steel toe and wins. Okay, there's a poll. We've got some super chats. Stop it. You know, you know Citizen M says stop it. You know, Ray's not gonna do jack shit. I really am rooting for Ray today. I got to be honest. I'm rooting for Ray. I think this could be a really powerful time for Ray. Everyone has no confidence, though. Uh, Bex with two do- with five dollars says, "I think my girlfriend hates Pole. She has a bottle of Polish remover." In her medicine cabinet. Gross. That was really gross to read. And uh, now I definitely know that Bex is Stephen Branch. (laughs) Because that that is an old joke from the show. Maybe 2006. The Polish remover joke. Ooh. Shout out to Patrick Janka. So everybody, everybody says that uh, 80% Steel Toe is going to worm out of questions. He's going to straw man it. He's going to red herring it. I don't know why everybody hates the show. I, you know, I don't know why everybody hates the show. We do a fun show. I don't know why people hate this show. We do a real fun show. If Steel Toe is so irrelevant, like you always say, why is there a reason to hype this interview? I, who said Steel Toe is irrelevant? I mean, first of all, in the big picture, every show we're talking about is irrelevant, right? I people really don't still don't understand still don't still don't understand this, you know. I didn't have anything to do today. I'd have to come on and talk about the banking thing, like steel toe. It'd be awful, you know. You guys keep trying to get us by going like. If there's such a little unimportant show, then why is everybody streaming? Because we're bored. And he's, by the way, you ever watch Jim Can't Swim? You think I'm involved in that interrogation that I'm watching for two hours? No, it's just an insane person lying through their teeth while everyone else in the room knows they're lying, yet they're like, go on. Then what happened? That's what this is. We're just watching, like, what's Steel Toe going to come out and lie about today? How's he going to change the goalpost today? Literally. We don't subtract the YouTube 30% anymore. That's changing the goalpost, motherfucker. So nobody thinks Steel Toes are relevant any more than the rest of us. I mean, we're all pretty irrelevant. Riding Ray's coattails today, I see do a real show. What is a real show anymore? Does anybody even know? Does anybody even know what a real show is today? Go watch Ray, by the way. Subscribe to Ray's channel. I like Ray DeVito, but this this is worlds collide. You know what I mean? We got to watch this. Ray's definitely having nervous poppies right now at some holiday in bathroom in Tulsa. They don't, he doesn't need to go to a bathroom. There's good internet at that house. I've stayed at that house. Every time I worked at Looney Ben, that house has good internet. He doesn't need to go to a lobby. 
Chad did an MLC there. Chad and I did a podcast there. The internet's fine. It's a house with real internet. It's not a condo. 77% stay uh, steel toe worms out of questions. So there's your answer. 4% think Ray balls, balls up and man's up. 11% steel toe doesn't show. And 10% Ray doesn't show. So really low expectations here for Ray. Um, he can only win, right? Maury Memento says, we want to see Ray is going to be strong and do what the whole internet wants, or if he will buckle and bobblehead his way into the worst interview ever. You got to hope the guy has a plan, right? You got to hope there's a plan there because... If not, what is this? And and by the way, you know, we already heard some leakings that truly wasn't going to allow bad, you know, super chats that like um, ask sensitive stuff. Or st this is what Steel Toad's going to do. Like uh, that's personal. That's family. That's uh, uh. it's like no, 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 no. You got to answer all the questions. You can't wear them out of anything. Your mom's fat. Your sister's fat. I doubt April's on this. I really doubt April's on it. Uh, you know, it'd be stupid to put her on here. She cries. She's emotional about everything. We're minutes away. There are 22 people waiting in Ray's chat. Oh, wait, 72? 72 waiting over in Ray's chat room right now. And we are there as well. And this starts in just over a minute if it starts on time. Now. If Ray really did bring his laptop and all his stuff down to some hotel, imagine going to a hotel <laughs> and being like, yeah, could I just use you guys' Wi-Fi to do a podcast? I'd like to just eat up the entire Holiday Inn's Wi-Fi. Oh, staying here? No, 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 no. I'm part of the MLC. What's that? No, it's on the Shuli Network. You guys know the Shuli Network? Are these cookies free here at the Double Tree? <laughs> imagine going in there and just being like yeah can i get some of this continental breakfast that's left over or is anybody gonna eat these crack po crack popple snaps <laughs> could i get some milk would it be too much to ask could i get a bottle of water and do you guys all mind just being quiet it's a podcast the shuli network it's on the shuli network you've never heard you no you don't know the network? Okay. Rock bottom, Ray. Dying to see the receptionist's face when Ray asks for directions to the business center. Looks like Ray is shitting uh, out a towel onto a mirror. I think that's his bed. Is he sitting on the corner of his bed in this graphic? Yeah, that's his little bed and his little Star Wars toys. He's got his TIE fighter and a suitcase and some trading cards and it's a basement. Here's some stairs. Stairs. Do you guys like stairs? Whoa! We live! We live, baby! Shooty! Uh... Yeah. Surely. Bra, bra, bra. I wish you wouldn't talk. Of What's up? What's going on? Welcome, everybody. Rock Bottom Podcast. All right, he stayed in the house. On the Shuli Network. And uh, yeah, man, is it? We're gonna have a fun, good one today. I got Aaron M. Holt, host of a Steel, Steel Toe, Toe. Show, Steel Toe Show, the Steel Toe Show. We all know who he is. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors, Silk City. No, 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 no. My sponsors are you. My sponsors are Addicted to Profits. My sponsors are Nerf Spaghetti Tooth uh, Lady Friend. My my sponsors are Bex. My sponsors are. Sent there by me, get 15% off uh, on your first order. All right, I'm gonna get into it. 
And yeah, yeah and you don't, you don't have to put that. If there's super chats, put them up. Um, <laughs> chats, Joe, don't put them up. Um, first thing I got to do, I got to fucking, I got to vent a little bit. I was watching MLC yesterday. First of all, uh, Chad Zumach. Uh, yeah, I like how he's watching this. What? Uh, there's like 19 people like watching this. Some hate watching it. One is uh, Chad, uh, which. No, I was not on. I, I like how you're on MLC going. Yeah, he was on Pedro's podcast yesterday. No, he was in the chats. Yeah, and I like how they fucking believe me. Who believes fucking Chad at this point? I wasn't. I didn't watch Melton's podcast. I have no idea what's going on. But the fact that you fucking the the, the fact that Bob and Kevin even believe who fucking believes Chad anymore at this point? Seriously, I could be standing in a room with them. It could be raining outside, and Chad's like it's raining. I'm still gonna be like, ah, I'm I'm not too sure. I'm gonna fucking go outside. And see, just a piece of shit, just a fucking lies. Got like, first of all, he's uh, all right, I, and then I, I gotta oh, oh, give oh, oh, Levy oh. some shit. I gotta give Levy some shit. <laughs> he's gonna lie, I get it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Ray's Thank hyperventilating. You. Uh, good luck, Ray. Knock it out of the park. Um, but I gotta give Bob some shit. For Don't the- worry, guys. I am gonna let him talk. I'm not gonna be. He's gonna live stream it. Like he's gonna live stream this too while I'm going on, and this is his network. Let's let's be honest. Minimal There's interrupt. Uh oh. First of all, and then also like, oh no, he's just joking around. Really, really? Because I remember like when uh, he invited me to go on the Anthony Cumia show with him, and I wasted an entire day in New York City <laughs> and I'm sitting there waiting. And every time I talked, they cut off my microphone. Yeah, that that was hilarious. So <laughs> I don't know if he's joking or not. I I'm want a video of that. I don't know if he's joking. I don't think that shit's funny. And like, and, I, and I, even like the Shuli Network, I see all the tweets are putting up, like mocking me and stuff. It's like, are, are we a team? Is this really a team? When you when you think about it, when shit like that, like I don't find this bullying stuff funny. You want to be funny? Fucking pick up a pen and write a joke. Write a fucking premise and a punchline. Write a joke. It's supposed to be comics. Write fucking jokes. But this whole middle school cafeteria shit, like you're an eighth grade or in a sixth grade cafeteria. Whoa! <laughs> he is already stressed. The graphics ruined the connection. Look oh, at that's, this. That's, he was joking, but I don't know if he's joking. He fucks me over. And yes, and I, if my I keep talking, if my internet does, kind of, I'm in a apartment in Tulsa. This, I'm just, I, I'm just, I was just annoyed that whole thing. watching MLC today, just get worked off. Just like, oh, oh no, oh no, Chad, and then he gets mad. Like, uh, quick getting arrested. No one will talk about it. He's like, yeah, they're really <laughs> yeah, all right. So quick getting arrested. in that chick's place in 1989. Oh, that was 1998. Stop breaking the law, asshole. Fucking harassed in Got arrested for that. Oh, then quit fucking breaking the law. He's breaking the law like 15 times. In a <laughs> I beat years. him with the yeah, meme. the criminal records out there. Quit being a piece of shit. Quit being a dick. And people will quit fucking talking about you of being a piece of shit. First of all, you look like a pe- you look like the fucking poop <laughs> emoji with the camel's hat. You're just fucking yeah. You wrote fucking, some roast jokes. I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm uh, looking to uh, talking to Aaron, and then I got to deal with this shit on top of it. So, all right, Franklin Shackler, thanks. But which flavor do you most in a tops, downers, flare, or upper deck? It depends Jesus. on the year. Man. It depends on the year. Eighty nine would be upper deck. Uh, Eighty four would be downers. Um. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Aaron. <laughs> I don't want to vent about that shit. And also, um, yeah, welcome Aaron M. Holt. Uh, and I also want to vent this. Oh, this is showing out. Where's my clips? Aaron can't you know, ever like put the camera around his face like a normal interview. He's got to be zoomed way out and have the whole steel toe banner in. And also the show to promote. I, I don't know if I'm being in Potsdown. I was invited, then uninvited, then invited, then I, I have no idea. Right. You were never uninvited to Pottstown, for starters. You're going. Right. You, you've been promoting that you're going to be there. And second hey. of all, when you do something clip worthy, I will clip it. I promise. <laughs> wow. wow, nothing clip worthy in my two specials, but all right. Well, this will be the day, hopefully. Yeah, this will hopefully be the day. Beloved Chatter, two dollars so triggered that people are actually Thomas watching him. Mark Norman, Maddie Smith. Yeah, and Joe fifty DeVito. less than here. It's also, uh, my album release party, New York City, uh, at the Stamp. All right, welcome, Aaron. What's Ray, up? I have to say it is an honor. After that monologue, I have to say it's an honor to be here for the last episode of the Rock Pop <laughs> Podcast on the Sully <laughs> Network. Uh, Jesus <sighs> Christ, man. I have to say, I commend you. And you and I have been talking for months now. I've been wanting to come on your show and just schedule-wise, it hasn't worked out. 
And now we've now you see we built it up into like this heat machine now. Oh boy, now it's really you know a rolling boil. This is good. This is like Leonard Hearns. This is we let it get real good and juicy. But that, what that, that you went on right now. All week you've been standing up for yourself. All week people have been trying to push you around. I I honestly think uh, when it comes to like Bob and shooting, sucking up so that Ray goes easy on him, he's sucking up. Fire that they're doing for you. I think they're trying to push you. Jesus, to your best. I don't. I'm, think I'm, I was just trying to focus on this interview. That's all. You I'm guys doing. see this, right? He's buttering him up. I'm on your side. I don't get what the hate's about. And by the way, that, that's not even cool at all. It, it's eventually we're on the same fucking football team. All right, let's say Bob's a center. I'm the quarterback. He's like, hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking uh, hike the ball over your head. Uh, f- fucking all game, and like, and then he has like, fucking put the ball over my head before. So how do I? Know Egg pickers ball really ball turned. Over my head? So yeah, I gotta go in, not knowing what the fuck's going on. Are you on? Good my call, team? Amy. On the same team? Or are we not on the same team? But looks like we're on the same team, but still, it fucking fucks with me. I'm trying to get ready. It's I already know. over. Yeah. Ray, I think they gave you a punk test, and I think you passed. <laughs> They tried to punk you. They tried to push you around, and you stood firm. They gave you that shake yeah. test. You know, when they shake your hand, they give you a shake test. They hit you on the arm to see if you waver. See, Ray's grinning. He's happy. Ah, oh, this guy's on my side. Bar rescue. This is the stress. Ray was worried about it like he was going to be grilled. Now he's like, okay, this interview is going to be cake for me. I want to focus on this. That's why I want to focus on. That's why I wanted to do your show because I'm getting uh, Ray DeVito, fun guy, nice guy. Fun and now guy. The fucking blood shark yeah. comes out. <laughs> That's, oh, yeah. My God. The mud shark. That's a fucking shit shark. This shit shark. That's just a pile of shit. Chad, yeah. It should just Chad, be a poop emoji. You know what, Chad? This I guy's want, bitter, Chad, huh? Fucking poop emoji. That's what I want, because that's what he fucking is shaped. He's shaped like a miniature job of the hut with a fucking Cavalier's hat on. Okay. Chad Sumak, I don't think I've ever had any interactions with him. Is he new? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Let's start uh, over there. What was, how did you and Chad cross paths i've, I've seen this uh, stuff you oh no. and i get it him going out in the parking lot yelling into his iphone for fucking months at a time if he before, if he's honest it'll be frank and chrissy in the house he literally was yeah. outside because kevin right. brennan went let him in the house but second kevin brennan let him in the house like now he's fucking happy again he's still a dick but he's happy again as what happy was your start as happy as he can be right i mean as happy as humanly possible but I think uh, how you mean how we cross paths first? Yes. How did you and Chad yeah. Zuma so cross there paths? There was the, the John Melendez bubble. You know, like all this stuff comes from the John Melendez bubble. Uh, he wanted to try to jump in. He had made an ass of himself on who are these podcasts? And yes, I know. C- Carl has told me that's <laughs> right. He, yeah. he made an ass of himself. He did poorly there. And then uh, Carl, I interviewed Carl. And then Chad started commenting on all the Sterling John stuff that's going on. He's like, you know, I'm going to get in on the John stuff. I'm I think you're right, Gary. Doing John content. And we play. Ray's going to be on Wednesdays on Steel Toe. We're like, oh, here's a Johnny come lately. Like, here's a guy who's trying to capitalize on the John thing coming underneath. It's all on our channel. Like, it was pretty tame. Uh, and then he just started melting down at everyone. Over all of Hey, that's me, the flea. Remember the flea? So every time he would make a video where he's ranting and raving uh, and not really particularly doing anything funny, we would have a laugh about it on our show. And he just, I mean, it just wound him up more and more. The tension got tighter and tighter. No, he ignored you for four months. Honestly, until the day where he went on that nasty diatribe about April that had zero humor in it. Uh, I had no idea well, that he was it's about April. How could it much by all this stuff? Because to me, as you said before the interview, the radio guy, uh, I thought we were just playing a guy's show, making fun of his content, playing a guy's show, making fun of his content, something inside the man. And, so and Ray's going to get run over here. Ray's not going to ever talk. You've seen his history online. This is another He's platform not for Aaron to just everything. talk. No, that's his history. What was it? Because at first, I have watched your show. I do, I, I do like your show. I'm a fan of your show. I like the way you cover the news topics. Yeah. Um, it seemed what like you got mean? into, I guess you're calling it the local, like Chad, Stunner, and John, sure. uh, Opie. And then what is it that, first of all, and I always said, like, I, you, you don't need to do that for your show, but whatever. You did that. You were having take, fun with yeah, it. What we do is we usually do four hours, four hours of a show where we talk about the news, entertainment, pop culture. It's it's a morning radio show on YouTube. We love doing that. That's the kind of thing we like. And if there's an audience for it, we'll keep doing it. But we would also pick on 
lol cows. We would play people's content and we would go, oh, isn't this guy kind of a silly asshole, you know? And you'd make fun of him. And uh, what, what crossed the line with Chad, though? Where was it where you guys, because I heard him talking about April um, and you guys were fine with it at, at first. Uh, where where I, was I'll the line? We're not talking, fine, but you're just joking around with it. Like, all right. The, the talking about fucking April stuff seemed a little yeah. and crazy. Yeah, I would never Chad. do that. And that is, that yeah. is uh, yeah. Well, because but you knew he was in unhinged. You knew he was unhinged before. Yeah, the minute anybody wants to sleep with April, it's <laughs> before we started like making fun of his content. So we we weren't aware. We were uh, we were made aware of the criminal history and stuff as we went. That was kind of the first sign to me where I was like, oh, this guy doesn't do like funny. This guy doesn't do like no, comedy. It's anger. It's anger. He just gets really mad and starts lashing out and lashing out at women. I think the hardest, which I think is is telling. And uh, I mean, look who's talking a show where there's a doctor or something. Hey, right. But, yeah. yeah, right. We're, we're getting really backed up on super chats. I'm going to need you to start reading. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I'm, all right. I, you know what? I'm Confirmed. Not, Chad's reading Chad, parents abandoned children on his channel. Yeah. Just, just keep them going. If I don't read them, I'd say just put them up for because I, I want to get into this interview. So, yeah. Ray, stop complaining for Christ's sakes. Uh, Ray, Aaron Cardiff, NLO, Carlos, cheers. Thank you, cheers. Corn Diff. Thank you, all you guys. Super Corn Diff rules. Safe cleaning business in St. Cloud, and Aaron tried to get out of his bill by trading <laughs> a hoodie and stickers. That's a funny one. Right, that's, that's a funny one. one. I like that one. Yeah. Corey Adam County, if you ever need help with the show, I'm your guy. <laughs> like Corey, by the way, I want to talk to you about him. Ray you Asher, should Corey on your show. I think you'd love him. Yeah. Yeah, Asher, yeah. It'd be great. Pretend he's a celebrity and take care of his kids. Um, Okay, next super chat. Uh, See, it, it, Ray's like, these are bad. We're not going to do oh, them. Don't worry. I'll protect well, you from these questions. Kids obnoxious. Yeah. All right. I mean, just ugh, the less, the better. No, of course, I'm kidding. Ray, we do you have any uh, Rob's cookies? Okay. No. Yeah. Uh, that hoodie is hiding the spanks impressively. <laughs> I tries to hide his gut a little, and people just feel they have to out him. Wow. He admit it. He admit it. Aaron's parents love Ashley LaRue more than him. Sad. Well, you know. Do I seem like the most lovable guy? <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Chad's doing more for Camel Toe's children than than him. I'm sure I'm sure he uh, honest to God in his mind believes that. God bless right. him. You look very handsome, Ray. I'll say that. Just keep the super chats up on the screen because I, <laughs> I, I appreciate they're coming in. Insane. So we can stop for now. You can get yeah, if, if they're – put it this way. If they're $5 or up, let's uh, – uh, I'll, I'll read them. Or at least a $10. Not month. even $5 MLC $5. does that. I'll, I'll read them. But so yeah, now they're not going to read $2 super they chats. They said they would read them all. All right. Sounds good. All oh. right. Wow. Ray on the fly just cut everybody's yeah. chats off. He cross the line where you're like the – Wow. The, where you see, were like, the, the April rant wasn't crossing the line, but that was the first one where we went, all right, we're going to ease up off this guy a little bit because he's not okay. Like, this guy isn't well. This isn't a guy who's going back and forth and doing comedy and, do, you know, ripping on people's content. This is a guy who takes this shit really, really personal. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to ease up a little. But he keeps – the problem with Chad is, and, and I think Anthony's covered this on Compound before, is that – you go, you know what? I'm done. And then he just does a remarkably stupid thing bigger. Like, he exponentially. Yeah, he's always going to. That's Chad. Uh, again, look, look See, Ray's already on his side. Now they're just going to talk shit about Chad because Ray's on hates Chad. It's, it's a car accident where no one has insurance. No one This has came insurance. less about Steel Toe now, and now it's about what Chad did. Didn't have, but donate to me, and I'll give him the money because he doesn't okay, have Everybody insurance. doesn't like Chad already. That tree in Cleveland had insurance. That was about the only one. Uh, uh, you know, I think the one where I went, look, this guy's over the top. This is out of line. Like, the one where he went to a place where I personally can't follow is when it got to, like, people that aren't involved with my show, family members and things that aren't involved okay. with the show. So a he, a April wasn't exactly And beloved chatter right. reminds us that he no, was no, the first one to attack right. Stuttering I'm, John for being a bad yeah, father and his trans kids, remember. Sign up for play. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm in this business. So that's bullshit. Yeah, and let me clarify this. I don't believe anyone should not say, this is a terrible double negative, I don't believe anyone should not say anything. All of these people 
What? Say whatever you want. Absolutely. Be as shitty and as horrible and as awful as you want. I think it reflects more on you than it does me. I just can't follow you there because then I'm a bag of shit too. And I want to do my show. You know, I don't do, uh, I find that what Chad does is kind of the uh, Jersey Shore reality TV equivalent of podcasting. Whereas I do a professional morning broadcast so i can't get mired in this shit and i also don't want to talk about people's families i don't want to know that much about these people i don't want to go into that dark nasty place because i think i watched a lot of people do it and they don't come out so other people can say <laughs> absolutely whatever they want and if that's winning to them i've said this numerous times then you win congratulations on your victory but i will ask this question ray if they're all winning so much why are they so mad still like where is all? No, who's this? mad? No, that, that's 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 Chad. That's being the, <laughs> he that, does this every day. They're all so no mad. It's like no one's mad. Talking about it. Uh, no, he's never gonna put up pictures of people's houses or or yeah. or, or, or or dox people or do that type of shit. He's not gonna I, do that. Now Ray, he's literally gonna sit there and, and watch the train wreck that is Chad yeah. and be like, yeah, that's content. It's like, all right, he's gonna act like an asshole. That's content. It's a good point, Cardiff's kids. Thing, Remember when he was done I with Chad? About Kevin Brennan a lot is he will shit on you hard, but he will shit on you professionally. He will say he doesn't think you're funny. He thinks you're a hack. He thinks your yep. show is fucking stupid. I mean, Kevin's lady. Right, that's him. That's him talking to me, and I'm his friend. <laughs> I've been talking to everybody. I don't know if he likes any certain program other no, than he, 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 he likes an hello. He says it every day. He says he likes Melton every day. Funny, yeah. and I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. I've I've been on Kevin's show. I talked to him after the show. He is a good guy. I don't know if we're supposed to let that out. He, no, he, he is, is a good guy. He actually is a good but, guy, and he's really funny. I like how he yells at me for not being, uh, on, uh, for not being more famous and kind. Con- uh oh, I lost Ray. Uh oh, win by two radio. Oh. Look at this. Win by radio for uh, twenty dollars. Ask Aaron about the illegal uh, lottery the he's won and why. If they're above board, he takes them all off YouTube. Don't drop the ball, Ray. We're all watching. Well, all right. the, uh, I, I back Ray. Uh, 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 the uh, the Jesse okay. P.S. wannabe who yeah. sent that, I will say this. Uh, nothing illegal about picking some fans and going, here's a little something for you. Here's a little prize for you. Worming his way out of it, deflecting. Every month we, we throw out gift cards for free to people. We take one of our VIPs. I want to give him 100 bucks out of my own pocket. We do that. I take one of our members. I give him 100 bucks out of my own pocket. I want to take somebody who's bought either a hoodie or stickers or anything or a T-shirt. And I want to give them 250 bucks. We've been doing it for two years. It's been great. People who don't like our show. I, I don't want to interrupt, but you guys, the way to get him on this question is by saying, because he's just going to give the same boilerplate answer here. You have to go, yeah, but you allow people to sign up on the night of by paying money. All you have to do is join, become a member, and you can get in the drawing tonight. By March, you can get in the drawing tonight. You're selling entries. That's the part he has to address. Explain to this. Why would I? I would be the dumbest motherfucker alive. You got to ask this question right. I'm going to target these videos and I'm right, going to right, try right. to destroy you with them. I, 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 if you think that you should keep those videos up, you're not smart enough to be doing this. Yeah, it's one of those things like, let's say your neighbor next well, door. Well, all the videos have firearm advertising violations, so you can report all the videos. Oh, it's like, right. you're going to take them all down, Aaron? I'm going to put them in the house. And by the way, I saw the prize night. I don't know the rules. From my thing, it looked like it's uh, you having fun with your fans. Okay. You don't have a gun to their head being like, you have to participate. Uh, Ray sucks. To me, it looked like you were having fun, so case dropped. Ray sucks. Comedy show. Right. Like, Ray sucks. Why go? Don't, why do this? By the church. And someone coming up to you afterwards like, well, you sold sh- shirts in this state, so you owe taxes like this and that. Right. And then you traveled over here. You're not allowed to sell. <laughs> so I equated it to, like, I was never – um. Which I do want to get into the mountain thing. I, I like mountain. I don't know why. Could I could I just follow up real quick on yeah, the, the so I think Aaron, it's a legitimate good faith criticism that when you're running a sweepstakes kind of thing like that, I think legally there's supposed to be an option to enter without paying. We've all heard those disclaimers on television since we were kids, you know, no purchase necessary and that kind of thing. I think that's the criticism of what you're doing. And that and that's fine. And I think if YouTube would have had a problem with it the last year and Twitch the year before that, I think something. Would I don't have think it's a question of YouTube though. That's it's the point of the like the law. Like if YouTube's okay with it, that's fine. But yep. the law's not. 
I think. Well, we'll I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. I think it's above board. I think it's I think it's a nice thing. I think it's a wonderful thing. You pick out people. We'll who see what happens. Is that how you do legal okay. stuff? Here you go. Take a little something. If that look, if I'm a bad guy for doing that, then I'm a bad guy for doing so it. So fucking disingenuous when he do, when he frames it like I that. I just think they're saying that the way you're doing it's not the right way to do it. Oh, you don't see the things I see then. <laughs> no, definitely the that's not a good faith criticism. He can't thing. make money if you can enter for free. That's that's what he's not saying. The right way. And if you were doing it the right way, that would be an awesome thing to be doing. I look, okay. man, I've, I've looked at the way it's supposed to be done. And in my mind, it is. If I'm wrong, then I'll be wrong. And, and then whatever. When they come to you, it's like one of the right. – I, I assume it'd be like the IRS coming to you and be like, hey, we looked at your taxes. You do owe this. And then you right. cross that bridge when it happens. Right. But I never give a shit about the prize night. That's not you know, there, the there shit was, I So there he is, you guys. I would take it more seriously if after I answered the question – because this is about the 50th time I've answered this. And no, it isn't. Uh, every If I answer it and people go, oh, okay, well, that's his answer. And then – that's the last time you get asked, then I would take it more seriously. But it seems to be this thing where after they bring up five other problems they have, that one comes up. It just kind of feels like throwing shit against the wall to see if you can get it to stick. And I, I know. I mean, no, we've been waiting for this for a month. About other shows that way and what they're doing. So I don't understand it. But can I, can I offer this suggestion? What about this? Like the people that pay for it, what if uh, they do that? And they get like 20 entries. If you want to do the free thing, you just get one entry. <laughs> That's not the law, Ray. You, paid, <laughs> you got, uh, what, 95%? Why would Ray pipe up with this? Like, I got an idea. Maybe they get a super entry. It's like. Doing that, that would be a wonderful one. Uh, we've always took it as like, look, it's people who buy merch. It's people who are members. It's people who are VIPs. And then the people who just show up in the chat and are watching the show we hand them out gift cards. No, no, no. This was the first month they did that. Remember, you had to super chat to get gift cards until this month. He's a liar. Get him. Then you're going, hey, you, boom. Hey, there, take that. You, here, take that. So That's not how it worked. You had to super chat to get a gift card. You had to buy it. Organized it is. But I think you're right. If uh, now, now, let's say I do that. and let's Ray doesn't have it. Ray doesn't have this. But let's say I do that and the complaints don't stop. I think there you'd have people, to admit people those people are being complain. Disappointed. Just yeah. gonna be, they're just going to be dicks. Sticks are going to be right. dicks. Or See, Ray's on his side. He's like, they're just haters. I get it, Steel Toe. Anyway, so Wednesday. Before, before we move on, Ray, could we please? We're really backed up on Super Chat. Uh, okay. Hey, Camel Toe, where's Megamind? Is she under the desk? I Paul wish. <laughs> Who is more, Aaron, your sister or mother-in-law? Ooh, boy, I got to go with me on that one. Oh, no, maybe my sister. Right. Ooh. All jokes aside, everyone hates you, Ray. Thank you, Citizen M. <laughs> ask Aaron Borgeson. Ask Aaron why he wouldn't address my question about Red Bar's offer to his wife. <laughs> thousand to leave him. His thoughts, please. This is great. Mind, wouldn't read the question. Big Piazza. Actually, if you go back and watch our episodes, we have uh, answered that question, even though it's not a serious question. And uh, I think there was a guys. It's not a serious mind. question. <laughs> Uh, Ray looks like his hat has hit rock bottom truthfully. Thank you, D. Fiera. Oh, let's not do two dollar ones. How about Aaron goes after people and expect them not to hit back? Huh? Ray might not be invited to, uh, to Misery Con West if this happens. This is bad. I, yeah, I believe I said people can say whatever the hell I want. They're mad. A guy like that is mad that I won't go down to that place too. And like again, no one's mad. I have a grin ear to ear like the Joker. I won't go to. That's handing you a victory. I don't understand the hostility and the anger after I hand it to you. Ray Ban sunglasses are worth every penny. Penny. Thank you, Dave Dallafor. Four or more shows are sniping your show. Thoughts? I think it's awesome. Byb yes. podcast. We're huge. Like call you Byob podcast. Aaron's sister and I are a thousand pound sisters. All right. That. <laughs> a potato has more live viewers sniping your show than Chad Zuma. Rack them. <laughs> By the way, that's fucking Jim Rome. He's rack me. That's fucking Jim yeah. Rome. Yeah, just go ahead and steal other people's punchlines. Hamburger. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do hamburger. Can, hamburger? Can I do shucky my, ducky? My catchphrase yeah. is zap them. Um, you put hamburgers in a microwave. It was this most blatant and pathetic cloud chase stunt that I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. That's Have you seen the onion? The game. Corey Adams was fired because of an affair with April. A lot of butt <laughs> stuff. 
Uh, you, Uzi. I told you to keep that in house. Yeah. When Aaron made fun of Stutch John's trans kid, was that just fun and not across the line? Did you make fun of his kid? I don't know if I made fun of his kid. I know we did a clip of him talking about it, and I definitely, I guarantee, I can't remember, I guarantee I probably made some jokes. And, you know, depending on what the jokes are, if they were over the line, I would say I'm sorry for that. I think a lot of us during that stuttering John thing, that was a clout chase on all of our parts, and we probably all went a little bit over. Props to Aaron for that. Props to Aaron for an honest moment and a real, real, you know, uh, expression of contrition. Props to Aaron for that. Then yeah, I'm sorry. Absolutely, that would be too far. Everybody makes mistakes, and I think. Wow. All right. I like I think that. That's a big move. So, if he yeah, did that for the lottery thing, it would all be over. Like that's all I really want. Stop scamming people. Yeah, I apologize for that every time, and should strive to do better the next time. Wow. All right. I don't know what's so hard about that. For I mean, you Rich, tell me, dog. talking over Aaron when he's talking. <laughs> Am I saying anything that important? Yeah. Aaron starving broke kids are being raised by LaRue. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, if that's where you, if that's where you want to go, go for it. Leave you land 5 p.m. today. There you go. Just giving your you money to piss off the dud shark. <laughs> Somebody tell him. Ray, say hi to Say Corey. nobody likes onions has more viewers than you, Ray. He's doing just fine. <laughs> That'll make them both upset. He wants to know why Aaron always has his back to April. That's a funny one. No, Stormy's uh, Stormy watches our show pretty regularly. Uh, whenever I'm doing a story. Wow, is that true, Stormy? Because I'm going to ban you. And I'll go like that. Stormy watches our show regularly. The stream sniper Ooh. show will go, oh, oh, he's got his back to her. Oh, does that mean they're yeah, going to break up? And I'm like, oh. We kind of embraced that one, and that's been a fun running joke on the show. What? People watch a show negatively? I don't oh, wait, know. Wait, Lance. Like. I can't imagine. <laughs> Someone make a simple Ray Skinner cover. <laughs> Grifter, scammer, My aunt works at a karaoke <laughs> booth. So a lot she... of people feeling that way, Greg. Or, uh, Craig. <laughs> I feel that way, Ray. <laughs> Movie charges for folks to enter contests with money prizes absolutely not we sell them hoodies we sell them t-shirts we sell them stickers and we pick one of them and we go here's a little something extra in the envelope that's all it is hi welcome to we hate chat show after your super chat i said i would read um talking to my best friend and cook buddy aaron surely please wow he's not read. reading this right Oh, we lost. Ray what a again. cock! I'll say this: I he's beneath rock bottom. He's beneath, yeah, he's, he's beneath. What rock a bottom. cock! Am I back? All right. I, there you go. You're back, buddy. All right. Um. All right. Uh, wow, that was a real good burn, and they just glossed over it. You and Melton. Yes. All right. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm back. Right. Oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. You and Melton. Where did Where did that start? Where did you guys cross? Um, we didn't. Um, we didn't. Uh, he was lies, lies, flying. lies. I, I know his views were really in the shitter, and he wanted well, lies. To, keep saying, his views are fine. His views are fine. Uh, everyone's like no, shitting on people's views. No, they were. No, I'm no, I'm, I'm getting to the point. Before he started talking about us, he was talking about somebody else, and it wasn't really going anywhere. And That's I not true. That. I was I'm happy with somebody. my channel growth. And once we talk about them, it's a hundred percent real. We'll move on to something. I get it. But uh, he then started covering, like, Chad and Steel Toast. Read stuff, it. Like, weeks and months after it had happened. No, read that. So somebody sent it to us. Fuck, you got to do it again. God damn it. Listen to, like, a minute, minute and a Ray half. Ray is so it. soft. And Corey said some stuff about Pat. I think what he said about uh, Patrick was, oh, yeah, he had a podcast back when Rogan started his podcast. This was a lie. He goes, he goes we watched, like, a minute and a half of him. 40 minutes. They watched 40 minutes of NLO shitting all over it on their planned out show that's a just another simple lie he said we watched a minute and a half of it 40 minutes he's gonna start just kind of going like not even going after steel toe like watching the streams and like zooming in on april's <laughs> sexual con he's got a real weird hang up with april i've noticed that with a lot of these guys there's a very incel element see why will nobody call him on this i've never said anything sexual about it never i've never said anything sexual about april and he sexualizes her every show that's a real question ask him why do you keep saying melton sexualizes april do you have any evidence of that what did he say that was sexual about april call him on this shit and anger. Ray's just going, yeah, yeah, Melton's crazy. He's just nodding. Well, Ray is not the guy for this. And she's a co-host. So instead of going after you, they're going to go after 
they're going to go after your wife, who's the co-host. She's right there. I'd love a link to the video where I sexualize April all the time. Yeah, but it's going to happen. And oh, Ray no, won't no, ask no, it. No, Ray's no, just no, like, no, yeah, no, the internet's crazy. They're so bad, right? It's like, Ray's a pussy. Fire back as much as you're going to fight. Fuck, I like Ray, but so this is it, shit. It, yeah, so it's... So obviously it's going to happen. How is April doing? Is she like, is there any, uh, um, uh, is she cool she with got, everything going so on? So he went along, he co-signed like, that horse shit. He's like, yeah, they're going to sexualize she's April. That's just the way it is. She's talking to uh, them. Yeah. Uh, she only twitches once every three minutes or so. It's pretty, uh, she's doing all right. Oh God, now I've got freeze frame Ray again. Oh, you made him really happy. I, he really liked that one. Uh, hey, Hamilton, there's another stream. Go find it. Sort that out. Let's get back to some super chats. You're on the Melton Hour. Let's check them out. Uh, 499dictionary.com. Chad is sometimes referred to as the male Karen, although the two names have a significant number of differences. Ray Freezes and now Steel Toes hosting the show and working with the producer to read chats. You think this is a real hard-hitting interview? No. Oh, there you go. You want to hear the answers, Really? Uh, Stevie Lou with 499, Carlos Danger, OJ, and I are sniping <laughs> Cardiff. Snipe Chad, snipe you guys. Shout out to Steel Toe. Also, Sad Chad, 6 p.m. tonight on Ski Mask yeah. Collective YouTube. Attaboy. How funny and desperate is Stevie yeah. Lou? It's, it's like the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I can't even, like, go there anymore because it's like you really d dive into the guy. It's like, ugh. But I don't think he's doing a podcast anymore. Uh, you want back? me to Jimmy, he right. shoots right. Network's Pride and Fire Ray live on air. Your producer has to interject too often because of Ray being soft. See, this is what you kind of brought on here, Ray, is I am oh, a I, I'm in a I'm in a lose-lose situation. Yeah, I'm a heat machine for the MLC crowd. I don't know why, like I said, we do two completely different kinds of shows. One's like news and comedy based. The other one's kind of reality TV of broadcasting. But I, there's some hard-on they have with my show that, uh, I mean, it's an honor. Don't get me wrong. You know, I can play baby face. I can play heel. Uh, but yeah, you you brought the heel in, and now they all get to throw trash. We don't do the pro wrestling stuff. And uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun so far. Yeah, I'm, uh, this was... N all right, I'm going to... I'm going to criticize... Ray is, like, geeking out. He's, like, going to come. He's so giddy talking to this guy. Yeah. Get around for this. <laughs> Ray is a uh, lose situation. Yeah, yeah. Puppet. Why do Why do you do that? <laughs> Total BS, guys. Check them out. They hate me now, but you check them out. You know what? They don't talk over shows. They just play shows. Right. This is why I think I frustrate a lot of people. If people come to me and say that thing is that, and I agree with you, I go, "Yep, you're right. I'm not going to fight you on that. That's a little rough." And that's how I kind of feel about that. And we've kind of phased that down quite a bit. It was uh, April and I will go to antique stores because we're gay. And, Whoa! Uh, in central Minnesota, Gay! you'll see old toys, like old timey toys from like sex toys, and some of them are painted remarkably black. Oh no! Uh, they've got like the suit on and everything else. I saw that thing in that store, and with my sense of humor, I went, "I fuck, I have to have that thing." It's because it's so ridiculous. Like, right, it's right, right. To think that at some point in time, it was okay to make that. So then we brought it on the show, went over the top with it, and I leaned on that fucking puppet like crazy for a while. That's just kind of how I am. And I've heard from multiple people that I respect very much, and they're like, dude, funny, but maybe got to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> and I went, I went, I'm not, uh, I'll, I'll say one of them. Uh, e Rock, for example, he was like, dude, that's fucking rough. He, he didn't like shit on me or anything for using it, but kind of like you did. He's like, what else did E Rock do? And he, has, and he has Gino on his network. Right. And he has Gino, and he's like, listen, man, yeah. you got to scale it back a bit. <laughs> exactly. So we, you know, I, I've got too much pride to just abandon it completely. So it's kind of being phased out. I don't want it to be like, oh, I just gave up on it and everything. So. Once in a great while, but no, you are absolutely right. See, I this is already just two buddies talking. Ray's already tapped out of this interview. They've already finished the Melton section. Like, imagine. Radio. Imagine the whole Melton section just being written off by him going, yeah, he's sexually obsessed with April and is mentally ill. And Ray just goes, yeah, that's the internet, man. Sorry about that. So what other baseball teams do you like? Guys like, that's, that's it. That's what we're doing. Go in the water to find out it's hot. Well, it's, hey guys, it's, it's listen, uh, this is fascinating, but we really got to get to these super chats. Uh, to some super chats. I mean, this is shit. 
<laughs> or go have Aaron send me a ten dollar gift card. Not reading my search chat. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna build a bridge right now, <laughs> William. I tell you what, you get in touch with me or you get in touch with April. Uh, not you send us your contact information. I'm gonna send you twenty five bucks for your ten dollar super chat. Ray's interview style equals stock. How do we enter that drawing, Aaron? Because you just committed another crime, I think. The biggest piece of shit who ever lived. They want to project their feelings through you. Ray, come clean. You're the George Soros of YouTube. You can't keep getting away with this. This is bad. Wait a minute. Are you Jewish? I don't, I don't even Patrick, know. Patrick, text Shuli and tell him to fix this. I don't have Shuli's number, and I wouldn't do that. Ray, how many tiles can you balance on your head? I mean, if this is Shuli's network, imagine. There's only one way to find out. Oh, and uh, I was yeah. going to invite Shuli to the conference, but, like, is this what's like going on Harris over there? He's not shook. Ray, you should be ashamed of yourself. I think they want. And who's this producer? They don't care about anything over here, huh? Playing the heel. You got to throw. You get to throw your trash. You should be happy. Ray, you are a good dude. Chad is a ticking time bomb. Watch your back and don't leave yourself vulnerable to him. Uh, Chad said, yeah, I mean, I deal with Chad. I can take whatever. Hey, there's a mugshot we haven't seen since yesterday. Sad Zumok. I'm jealous of Aaron. I wish I had a house and a hot wife. I can't afford furniture and I have to wash my clothes at a laundromat because I'm a bloated loser. Patrick eats boiling bag meals in his swim spa. He's yeah, admitted. swim spa slash sous vide. The sh we deal with waiting for Richard and Sal. <laughs> Ray, there's a flay of fish <laughs> at your door. Oh. Well, maybe it's a McMuffin Ray, morning, huh? Cowboy up. Ray, stop thinking about Corey and April having sex and pay attention <laughs> to the interview. It's the butt stuff that got you. Everybody's angry except this guy. Sounds like BS. If you stumbled Ray, across this dream, you'd think it's Aaron interviewing himself with Ray as second mic. Yep. <laughs> David Chandler, doing well, Ray. Your internet, not so much. Yes, I know. I know. I'm. Uh... Wow, a hundred dollar yeah, super chat like for like Ray. He's gonna jizz. About, like uh, uh, comedy uh, condos and stuff. Yes, yeah. they are with. But it's part of the deal. It's what we signed up for. Yep. Is rather have a comedy condo than somebody's back here listening to Ray. Look at this. Because, like, are they? Nights, no, they are good for the fact that you don't have to pay for a hotel on your off night. Otherwise, are these panties? An extra two hundred dollars. Uh, why what are these the panties? hell is a producer butting in? Oh well, see he's a little a bit person. of both. He's making the show. He shouldn't butt in. What is that? With the bad. To help Ray get better internet. Why? Well, thank you, Lilmer. Honest question is still though. I understand you and WATP making fun of Obi, but none of y'all have made videos dissecting and laughing at Anthony's antics at once at his dispense. It seems there's a deeper perception to be biased. I think. We do have a couple up there. I know there's one of Anthony's commenting on. Remember when Owen, not Owen Benjamin, yeah, Owen Benjamin commented on Gavin doing that fake FBI raid. Yeah, yeah. And I think we kind of took we took Owen's side on that deal, and we criticized Anthony and Gavin. And then I think uh, the Gino Pat Dixon thing. I think we commented on that. How you know, you know, Anthony, it's a fucking shit show over there. You know what the hell's going on? And there was some criticism there. Uh, look, man, I'm a bigger Anthony fan than an Opie fan. Uh, so there's probably going to be more videos of us criticizing <gasps> Opie than criticizing Anthony. And also, full disclosure, uh, we are currently working with Compound Media. And in doing so... Working I'm not, with? Yeah, I'm not a disloyal piece of shit who's going to take a guy who came on our show and said, hey, do shows on our network. Uh, we're going to be on 21 Guns. Do you think time. April's like watching this off yeah. camera? I'm sure the MLC crowd will love that. They'll jump right yeah, at yeah, it. Uh, yeah, Kevin's or upstairs. Up. Yeah, but, but, so no, you're officially joining Compound. Like, you're you still tell the show's jo joining Compound? or you're Ray's an idiot. No, look. Steel Toe right now, I would say, is, um, let's see, we've done one, two, three. Ray, three this is so disappointing. On Compound. I would say, it, it's like, to put it in, like, cable news terms, we're uh, not a correspondent, we're a contributor. Okay. You know? We're a guy, you know, we're on. The I thought it would go bad. I didn't think it would go this bad. He doesn't know anything about what's going on with them in Compound. Like, he's just out of it. Why would... Why would Ray want to interview this guy? He doesn't know anything about him. No, I, I don't mind, but at the moment, it's a little... Okay. Eh. It's, you know, I, I don't want to bring in people 
who okay, don't right, want to be involved. Right, right. I, I don't want to bring in people who have expressed a, need, a want to not be involved. And okay. That's so that what was... up, that's what made me upset about it in the first place. But these, these are okay. people who ask not to be involved. So and, that was not her interacting with Chad. <laughs> or you can't comment on that. I, I cannot. You that can't. Is, all right. He doesn't know. All right. Well, then this is, I'm going to say this. This isn't coming out of your mouth. But if that, if she doesn't want to be involved and she's interacting with Chad, then. So Ray asks a question and he just doesn't want to answer. And Ray just goes, okay, I guess don't answer that one. It's like, fuck. So maybe we can, uh, you know, we'll revisit. Uh, know. All right. <laughs> it's the same answer Corey gives on MLC. Talk about your relationship with your parents, or that's out of it. You don't want to talk. Wow. About it. Uh, no, we've talked about it on the show numerous okay. times. Um, I I grew up in one of those families where everything was like inside the family, and I I don't know if people have these, but families where you almost have to ask approval before you do things with your own life. And my family could give two shit. My parents are dead, but my sisters give two shits. No yeah. matter what, what oh, I'm man. doing, so they I'm have... talking parents, cousins, uh, you know, extended yeah. family. Like it's it's a weird entangled web. <laughs> and uh, there were a couple decisions that I made. Hey, we're about to hit nine or eight thousand uh, subs today on YouTube. So so hit like and sub. Whether it was who I wanted to be, that's with cool, like man. That, that I I think giving them as much credit as I can, they felt like they <laughs> Ray had, is gout chasing. They felt like they were got him. Like I was. It's like it's not like they it, wanted it was, you. To. It was one of those weird deals where I wasn't doing what they wanted, and I'm like, guys, guys, and I remember having this conversation. I'm like, guys, I'm in my fucking thirties. Like this is not. You guys gotta let go. You know, like this is this yeah. is not healthy. So there was a fight about that, and there was a, a whole deal. And you know, I've talked about it on the show numerous times. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? I'm happy. I've got a wonderful life. Amazing family. Uh, and uh, look, man, full steam ahead, I guess. Hey, Ray, if you want to go ahead and read that chat, you can let the next one marinate because at least it's positive. Okay. Ray's brother. <laughs> rear end. So you'd be eating my ass. Get lost, Patrick Melton. Aaron is awesome. Ah. I like both you guys. I like both you guys, so I don't Fuck these baby face tweets. I yeah. honestly, I'll tell you this, Ray, I don't have an opinion about the guy. I don't really care about the guy. I don't really, I mean, he's kind of obsessed with our show. I don't care. I think it helps you out getting you the whole lottery thing. That could be whatever, the, that can of worms, whatever. I it think, is what it is. I but. think you fixed that though, right? I think you, your idea, I've been thinking about it. Your idea might be the fix to that whole yes. thing. Something but I, like I, that. I think it's more of a, like, if you look at our channel, we don't have any videos about him. There's no coverage about him. This is a, this is kind of a one-sided deal. We got bigger fish to fry, I guess you would say. F no, you'll make fun of people who don't fight back and who don't expose your truth. There you go. Jules David, I would like an honest answer for Steel Toe. Why make fun of that female radio host being fat when your mother-in-law is pushing 300 pounds herself? Please answer honestly. Sent at 140 p.m. I, again, I think involving people who don't want to be involved is kind yeah. of a scumbag, dirtbag move. But again, that's an MLC person. What do you expect? Um, I, I wow. Would, okay. Jules David written off. Episode on our channel. It is so full of tongue in cheek and sarcasm and horseshit radio stuff. I the, the six minutes that woman clipped on TikTok of it and put out there. All we did was say that your mom was fat. We didn't even show a picture. And April was trembling on the show trembling that all together to make it sound like we were angrily yelling all that stuff i give her all the credit in the world for a takedown it was fucking brutal it was remarkably out of context that's why we have the whole show up on our channel and you can go listen to it anyone who could possibly take that seriously for a second i really don't trust their so why is it serious when we say your mom's fat <laughs> hey, Ray, I really want to make sure that everyone that paid gets their super chat okay. uh, read and up on the screen. So can we cycle through some of these, please? Yes. Surely Network makes them quit after an hour. Aaron, why is your garbage can li lid full of uncooked eggs? Protein. Oh, Protein. Steel toast. See, th see, they just going to move on. <laughs> this is the first time we ever gave gift cards. Before that, people had to pay entries to win oh. gift cards just like they do to win money. Incorrect on both counts. I mean, we watched it with our own eyes. He just gets to lie. Panties behind you on the couch, Ray. Lot lizard leave behind, or do you want to get something off your chest? It's my chat. On the couch, Ray, all the way. Beloved oh, Chatter yeah, runs are, over yeah, there to yeah, ask about the, the panties. The in the corner, Ray. Yep, other corner. Oh, the other corner, Ray. The other corner. Right up to the back of the couch. 
Why did it have to freeze with him looking oh, like Leo? Why is everybody dumb? Great. <laughs> right behind your left Ray, shoulder, the all other, the way on the back over, of the couch. I'm Jesus out Christ. Like an this is like... Oh, my Ray, left the other corner. Your left oh, shoulder. shoulder. Yes, there you go. You're pointing right at them. Now you're frozen. I mean, I'm just playing a different ball game than all these guys. I mean, all these fucking stream yard guys are just so out of it. It's a bandana. It's my buddy's bandana. Well, all that for now. It's nothing. a bandana. Christ yeah. almighty. Yeah. So you're biased, Steel Toe. Got it. Red Bar quit for not bending the knee and exposing and keeping it real with his employer and the audience. People will truly <laughs> respect you if you keep it real. I believe I'm answering all of your questions as real as I can. What the fuck was Shuli thinking? I believe, Hashtag I Shuli believe, Kano. I believe. He's thinking Ray's got himself a great <laughs> guest is what he's thinking. Yeah. Where's the blowback from the threat to Bob? Oh, yeah. What, what, let's yeah, get into that. Actually, before we get into that, I just want to know, Ray, were we still splitting the super chats with Ray, no. uh, with Aaron? Nope. I don't want. It's all Ray's. Give it all to Ray. Well, he doesn't get all of it. He doesn't deserve it. Or whatever the person <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, this is. This uh, is. The blowback there. Hit like, hit subscribe on our Bob. channel, please. I was on a show at the time. Almost 400 people watching, only 100 likes. Let's try to get that up before the top of the hour. I read the text. It was too vague, and it does have to do with the like certain things I'm dealing with now about people who didn't want to be brought up and mentioned. Um, and my whole thing to him was like, look, if any of what you know this person is saying comes out, it's it's not about you. Like this isn't. I I like I love and respect Bob. I think he's great. And then he said, this sounds like a threat. Unfortunately, I was doing the BYB podcast at the time. Bob had a show, so he went on with the text. If he were to show the rest of them, there were three more texts I sent him clarifying what I meant. And then I think a week or two ago, I reached out can to you, Bob. Can you clarify now? Well, so Bob's, Bob's a liar. Between in, you a, and Bob. in a month, I probably can clarify. Uh, okay. So when it uh, so then with bob i sent him a dm a couple weeks ago because he followed me again on twitter i followed him back this is so high school and gay but um i sent him a dm just going hey for however fucked up that got for however messed up that was i'm really sorry for my end of it you know you you were a big fan of the show a big fan of what you do i hope we can get there again someday so on and so forth like i, I just this weird thing about drama with 50 year old men uh, has really kind of made me in my mid Imagine calling Bob 50. I don't want to live that way. Men and, and menopause so too, man. Hey, can Maybe I that follow up on that real quick? Yeah. Honestly, so Aaron, first of all, before, because I know what I'm about to say is going to sound very negative, but I have a lot of respect for you showing up here today and answering all the questions. I don't. This is softball. I, I have no problem with you personally. Sure. However, the situation with Bob, I kind of did have a problem with personally because I love Bob and I'm defensive of things that I love. And of course. I just don't buy <gasps> that a guy who talks on the radio for seven hours a day and appears to be extremely eloquent and have a good command of the English language, doesn't understand um, passive aggressiveness. And that was kind of no. your response. You were like, oh, who, me? I'm just this bumbling hick from Minnesota, and I don't watch The Sopranos, so I don't know how y'all in New Jersey talk. And I just don't buy that at all. I think you knew exactly what you were saying, and you were trying to threaten, like, there's some whatever happened to that lawsuit, by the way, that you were threatening? Not a lawsuit. I said, wow. I'm contact my lawyer. And did you? Uh, my wife is in the like chat. Contacting me with bullshit? I, no, not at all. No, because this you're, ta you're not talking about, I wasn't talking about Bob or anyone else on that. This was a very personal matter about people who don't want to be involved. Lies. So you're, you're actually confusing two different things. Wow. That I don't think are part of the broadcast world here. Whoa! And as, and as, I, as, I, I think Aaron's referring to what he's got to yeah. wait thirty days before right. he can and talk. As far about. As, and as far as the Bob thing goes, again, with all due respect to you, my friend, because I I don't know you at all. But uh, again, there were three more texts clarifying what I meant. That why not still just not, call that him, upset, though, that Why not just call him? Did I not say that on Shuli's show? Wow! I said, I sh this should have been a phone call. I should have never sent the text. But there were three other texts that I sent that clearly clarified what I meant, that didn't see the light of day, which I'm happy they don't. I don't believe in releasing people's text messages and releasing people's DMs. I don't believe in that. So, so I'm not, one, one well, last I'm, thing I had well, a problem I'm certainly with. not going to do one last thing I had a problem with, with the whole thing was when you did come on BS to apologize, you sort of gave one of those, I'm sorry if you took this the wrong way kind of apologies. It wasn't what I wrote Woo! was stupid and I understand. 
understand how you could have taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry. It was if you were offended by what I said, kind of. Um, well, I got to disagree with you there because I did say exactly that. I said, I can see where that would look fucked up. And I probably, sh I said on that show, did I not? I sh probably shouldn't have sent that. I should have called Bob. Actually, I did say on that show I should have called Bob or I should have just said nothing at all and just let the thing go. And how about the text to Shuli saying you were washing your hands of Bob? What does that mean? How does somebody was, who's a oh! nobody wash their hands of Bob leaving? That, that was as, again, that was as the whole family members, children thing was going on with Chad. And, you know, all this shit is going on. And then I'm getting phone calls from people who don't want to be involved. And I'm like, no one's going to tell this piece of shit to, you know, cut the fucking horse shit here. I got to I gotta kind of circle my own wagons. And I got to make my circle a little bit tighter because Woo! I had to play. Again, you're not getting the phone calls I am. I had to kind of tighten the circle a little bit because there was... Uh, Emotional damage! Without I, being I just hope in the future, like, direct your no, no. anger in the direction it deserves to and be directed. I, I get it. You're you're defensive of Bob, and you're doing a wonderful Woo! job. I understand I'm defensive that. of all the people no, no, no. that I'm, I love, no, not I'm just Bob that. Levy. I'm defensive of Ray. Even though I give as, him a hard time on the show, I'm just as, as defensive am I. of him. As am I defensive of the people I care about. I was just, you know, you said a couple of things that weren't true. For one, I did say I shouldn't have sent the text. I can see how you could take it fucked up. I could see how it looks fucked up. That's not how I intended it. There were three text messages after that that I, in which I clarified the whole thing that weren't brought up. I did feel it was a little, like, a lot of the context was fucking missing from that whole thing. But that's, and I, that's fine. As you can I see, that. as you can I see, do. you don't see me talking about it on the show anymore. I don't bring it up. I've said my apologies. I've reached out to the people privately that I feel needed to be reached out to. And I, honestly, rehashing this shit honestly over over kind of plays into that whole vibe of middle school drama kind of kind of stuff like it's been discussed well, what's your relationship with bob now are you guys from jimmy i surely give producer joe all the money today leave this up a long time joe oh he thinks this is <laughs> i've written i've liked some stuff he's written this is nobody likes onions jimmy are probably like why don't we kind of see how this but i appreciate it and we got you they go in i think there's there's some trepidation i learned a lot coming from radio to twitch to youtube and uh you know mersh from nightwave radio said it perfectly like these people aren't your friends like these people aren't you're, you're at very best your co-workers in streaming so yeah. I, I love bob and i had to lash out at him today because it right. fucking put me in a weird mood fucking last night i was not happy when i heard that i didn't know he was joking i get it now he was joking i didn't know so like yeah i was like what the fuck dude are we on the same team or what so right. i mean i get it where but yeah i'm not threatening anyone or whatever but at the same time like i, I get that frustration too <laughs> where i've been and i didn't have uh we, we have yeah. ex wives that are what whatever. I don't have people no. that uh, yeah where it gets entangled I, like I that. Think, I, I think what no. we learned was radio is a place where people are vetted. Radio and, again. You know you got to make sure that you're not dealing. Where's with Bob them. Levy? We got radio tips over here again today, Bob. And so when you go and you make so that's fun why of Chad lasted two years. <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> so like so when you go and you make fun of someone on radio. You're talking to a rational person who does it for a living. They know what it's about. They come back at you. Eventually, it just kind of all goes away. Whereas on the internet, there's a lot bigger, like, cosmic game afoot. And, like, the worst thing you can do is not mean it. Because if you don't mean it and you just move on and you end up catching a clinger or a crazy person, now all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, shit. Now what is this fucking retard doing? Hey, guys, I have a mortgage to pay. Can we get to these super chats? All right, chats? let's get to these super chats. And by All the way, right, before we do I real quick. I certainly don't want to upset you. Yeah. Before, before we get to the super chats real quick, if I've done my math correctly, between the 465 people watching our channel on YouTube and the nine other channels watching this broadcast, we have about 1,500 people watching this. Hell show. yeah. And my I internet, I need better internet. Yeah, uh, you picked a fine, uh, fine day to be at a buddy's house with shitty uh, internet, right? It's all good. All right. Ray, Steel Ray, Toe Morning Show is awesome. Ray, we're a fucking draw, buddy. Yeah. So Ray just goes, oh Steel God. Toe Morning Show is awesome. Aaron and Ray are both awesome. There we go. Thanks, Adam, for trying to save Ray. Um, 
That's Joe. Uh, if if you cheat on your pregnant wife, you don't love your kid. This well, is I, so you bad. know, I, you know, that shit really does bother me because that is not accurate, and that's another thing that, that really bothers you know, him. I've been called about personally, like, why is this shit being said? That is total horseshit. But again, if people don't like you. They'll throw shit against the wall. The internet's a nasty place, so you gotta kind of let it roll and off. And they're gonna make up their own stories. People are gonna yeah, make up their you own gotta, story. You let I mean, you just said it really bothers you, but then you said you gotta let it roll off. But you're letting it really bother you. Attack the dabblers. Of course, people don't like them. We attacked the dab. First of all, guys, let's stop with the fucking elementary school. This is my club. This is everybody do their fucking <laughs> show. Everybody have their audience. Everybody just be happy. You attacked my clan. No, the McCulloch's attacked this clan. Look how Not happy Ray is. is. We're fucking adults. Yeah, look at how happy Ray's Ray is. Ray's loving this. Uh, wow. Ray loves it. Uh, I, because guys that. like Ray and I don't take the shit too seriously. Ray's made more money in the last... 30 minutes than we have in the last two months of doing this show so I, and i think that's wonderful that's why when someone reached out to me and said oh should we uh, ray said should we split it i go no don't give me a fucking money. i'm a guest don't pay the guest no, i'm gonna make him split these with me actually <laughs> if i was a host i'd want 50 dollars so. uh more super chats Reach yeah, more super we got so many of them every right. single one that's paid is gonna get read all right keep them coming i read eye of chad i, I was Aaron on his family. I grew up with a family where everything was inside the family. This is the nicest way of saying he may have been a product of incest. Oh, let's have that one roll yeah. out there, huh? Yeah. Ray, once again, proving you don't need talent, ability, or an internet connection to have a podcast. That is a true story. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. Give this this and all the other money to the producer who's doing a better job than Ray. I can't I like deny this that. Person. Yeah. Oh, Al Capone's fault was less disappointing than this show. I'd rather want to be a derivative hack radio morning zoo show with his home record girlfriend than take care of his kids. See, now that, like, that being that kind of guy, and I don't know how a uh, producer guy feels about shit like that. Like, that's just a level of human. Wow. See, he doesn't want the producer to put those comments up. I do, actually, I don't like it, but we've got to put them all up there and read them. But I do. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, mind, you said, I these... kind of probe there a little bit. I, I don't, I hate that people go there, but just because people do go there so much, is there anything to that? Like, what are they that's... talking about? Did you yeah. hear? Wow. Support at some point or something? No. Oh, hey, you, don't take, you don't take offense that do you Aaron? like no it's too yeah. it's too stupid to take offense to no of course not i am uh i don't mean to brag here but i am a, a wonderful father if nothing else shitty at everything else but uh no and as far as like at least the, we agree on something yeah so <laughs> the, the home record got him father, like me for me but like for eight <laughs> To do the math and all these people have looked into my history and every document that exists on me they've looked it up when you get divorced in 2018 and you meet the person you're married to now in 2020, it's kind of hard to make that connection while still not being disingenuous. That's all. And I know people don't like my attitude when I talk to people that way. That's fine. But if you're going to say stupid shit, you're going to get a stupid answer back. See, Ray, even your producer knows you're blowing it. You push back a little. You dig a little deeper. You look for an answer. Go play with your toys. I think it fixes fucking prize night. I think I fucking helped Ray the situation. Did. Ray did a good job. So, and, the yeah. producer, and the producer's doing a good job. This is He's insane. sticking up for Bob. He's asking good questions. I got to clarify. Ray's it. doing a great job, says Steel Toe, while everyone everywhere else is screaming, what a piece of shit. Joe probably does know a lot of situations better than me. Like, I don't get to watch. So, such delusion. Watch all the time. He's there for every miserable man. He's there for I don't all really care man. for Steel Toe, to be honest. That's fine. That's no problem with that. Aaron, a we got an onion on the inside, guys. <laughs> you just got to focus on the ones that do give a shit. Aaron Wait. is a politician. He lies with a confident smile, talking a big game, trying to be his altruistic person. He is truly a snake. Time will tell. I agree with that. Time will tell 100%. Let's call Bob right now. No, I don't want to use any more internet. <laughs> Ray doesn't have any minutes. That's, That's not how it screen. works. Yeah. Ashley LaRue, I had to write a book to help my children cope with the fact that Aaron destroyed my family because of April. He cheated on me when I was pregnant. All right, we can get that. Yeah, one. that that's a pretty nasty lie. Like that. Ah, that's he hates that. He hates that one. That's just such a nasty fucking. 
like shit. You're to looking do. for I don't something to needle? He hates that. Who's involved with that kind of thing? That's who, I'm who's sorry. the fuck it's, face off camera. He's ruining it. You hear that? <laughs> if, if that makes me arrogant, then I'm arrogant. Aaron Gant. around every question. Very Trump. He hates the Ashley LaRue stuff, guys. He hates it. Is this Ray show or just a hit job? Oh, I think I think everyone's been very, very uh, polite. Steel toe again. Let me just just keep making two dollar chats saying I'm Ashley Larue and Aaron cheated on me. Just keep making two dollar chats that say that they have to read every one. Family out of work life. Yes, everyone should leave family out of work. That's funny. He hates that. Look how mad he got. Two times he got really upset at that, and he said it really bothered him. Ray wouldn't dare do a real interview. He's getting super chat money. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, he actually he just to go through the super chats instead of doing the interview. So there's yeah. kind of a double-edged sword. Yeah. Can you shut the off the camera, asshole up? <laughs> the off camera. Uh, they cannot do that. No, um, they can't I, do I, that. I, I, I my camera need. on. There you go. There's that guy so rules. Can't. Joe rules. Ray Finally, cannot some shut can. me up. No, Ray has no control over this. Sorry about that, Nelson. I know you're around in a lot of the chats. Don't mean to disappoint you, but no, Ray cannot do anything about this. Um, Met in 20 and married in 21. Hmm. <laughs> what can I say? She's beautiful and I'm a charming bastard. Yeah. Ray, if the network had any respect for you, you wouldn't have a producer chiming in and Aaron Grievances during an interview. Just leave, dude. Ah. No, nah, I'm fine that uh, Joe's here. Nah, call yeah. Ray Buddy ten Never times, and he's putty in your hands. <laughs> Ray, God damn it! Why yeah. are we too long? No, yes, look at this one. His pregnant wife. That's what, That's a really lovely thing to say. <laughs> Steel Toe is confident. Full. <laughs> Yeah, why the name Steel Toe? Where the hell does Steel Toe uh, come well, from? Red Fox Man says, Team Steel Toe, I will always support Steel Toe. Hey, man, like what you li like what you want to like. And they uh, Look, I honestly wish um, he would just get the lottery stuff together. There is a legal way to do it. He's too proud. Like, I I'd honestly help him get in compliance. Like, it's not hard to do. He's just being proud and, and stubborn. Like, he's just being an asshole. And now he's going to get reported on every level. Does movie Sorry. or the scrimp ever lay awake at night thinking about Patrick Melton zoom -ins? It's the greatest show. I can assure you there is no <laughs> thinking about Patrick Melton. I, here, this will make Chad really happy. We, I, I would say when we talk to like other podcast people or anything like that, Chad's name, while rarely, will come up. Absolutely. Chad's a fascinating figure. Uh, and and Patrick, Patrick's will not. Unfortunately, oh. Ray, is this an exit interview? Thank you. <laughs> it's one of my biggest fans. <laughs> he wants me gone. Uh, super chats are done for a minute here. Um, I want to <laughs> the, the Corey thing. When you found out he was in Melton's uh, that Melton was uh, having him do things in the chat. Admit at, at first, if I was you, I'd be like a little uh, annoyed with it. How, how did you feel? Pissed. I was pissed. Absolutely. Um, and we did a show and the show was great. But yeah, afterwards, I, you know, I talked to Corey and I was like, like, because to me, it was, well, why would you do that to a friend of yours and a show you like doing and this and that? And, but then you talk to him for money. Corey and I had a discussion and he's like, oh, he's like, I understand how you can see it that way. <laughs> but he said to me, the guy was making fun of me. So to get the heat off it, I wasn't going to let the guy sit there and zoom in on my head and, you know, make fun of me and stuff. So I kind of. I wasn't going to let him zoom in on my head. Imagine that statement. For calling him out on it. And it was this whole big mess. And to me, a guy who does an actual show where we talk about stories and topics and what's going on. Uh, that's just kind of a distraction thing that you don't really. It doesn't add anything to the show. So if you ignore it, like it, on the Internet, you ignore people like that. It drives them crazy. And that works. Oh. And so you know, I just have different approaches on how you deal with it. And like I said, we had a, a very nice conversation uh, on the phone. And there was a lot of stuff. Like, we've worked together for six years. And it got us to talk about a lot of the stuff that <laughs> bothered each of us about each other on the program. And we worked out this uh. deal where we went, hey, finish out the month. And then he's like, I'm going to go see if I can make more money doing my own shows and stuff like that. And I said, 
Bingo. Great. Absolutely. It's one of those things where you work with your friend for six years and then you need a break. And uh, Corey's going to be back. We're going to have Aaron tells it all like it was his idea to get rid of uh, Corey and change things up for really. We just unplugged Corey from the Matrix, if you're honest. One day a week and doing the show. No, he's free of that. Hey, Ray, we got to get back to the Super Chats if you don't mind. If I could strangle the off-camera guys, his eyes would be fucking out of his face. He killed their poor and ruined their show. Who cares what you like, Joe? Well, maybe Joe needs a, a no, show. No, Joe's a good guy. Well, no, I'll tell you what, actually. If Nelson wants to donate $20 to match this one, I will stop butting in. <laughs> this is oh, for the wow. producer. It seems the only hard-hitting journalist there is today. You blew Put your it. Put right? your mouth is, buddy. Yeah. 20 bucks, and I shut up. I'm yeah. going to say this. I th- A lot of the people who despise me, who think I'm Satan incarnate, really like the job Joe did. But I don't think that's why Joe did it. I think Joe legitimately has problems and issues yeah. with things I've done. I think he's coming from a very honest place. And I I, I'm, fine I'm fine with Joe. I'm fine. all the questions. Yeah. Oh, I'm I fine with Joe it. doing this, by the way. This, this shit is fine. <laughs> Nelson, See, okay. Patrick, you healed their relationship. Steel Toe is associated with BYB and Stevie Lou. Who docks people, including Kevin Brennan? Well, I think if they did that to Kevin Brennan, they should apologize to Kevin. I, I don't know if they did that or not. If someone can confirm it for me, that's really shitty. And Stevie Lou, don't do that. Derek, don't do that. You boys. Somebody ask. Uh, I, I don't like this. Doc. Why Steel Toe accuses me of doxing and social security numbers and stuff when I've never even done that? Never even shown a picture of April's mom. I don't have any. <laughs> Why does he constantly say I'm doing that? <laughs> They're going to show up at a Hampton Inn. <laughs> be like, you know, Air, Ray's just giggling going along. They're just best friends at this point, you know? Real questions and pushing the guests for answers. Ray, you don't need people to like you, to respect you. And it shows today. Thank you. Lord. This has been awful. Ray, after you and that tranny compared junk. Uh, he wasn't divorced in 2018. It was 2019, says beloved chatter. If that's true. Wow. Little lies, man. He lies about everything. Seems disingenuous. Clearly. Also, stop referring to yourself in the third person. Did I refer to myself in the third person? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, but, yeah. but Ray didn't until just yeah. Looks now. like people are really watching old Steel Toe. As far as the Steel Toe name, uh, like I said, it was the stations. But it's also more a description. People get that fucked up. They're like, you don't look like a Steel Toe guy. Look up Steel Toe Brewery in Minnesota. It's almost the same logo and everything. He ripped it off. The graphic, hence the name. Team Steel Toe. Steel Toe Brewery. Look it up. That's not way, what this fucking interview is for. Yeah. It's for throw, come on, throw the garbage. Sword in the scale says Patrick is Aaron's Oprah. Yep. How much that other guy doesn't like me because this guy seems to really like me. <laughs> I'll give Joe $100 to keep asking questions. Look at Borgo. Bor- Borgo's a big on the a- clock. He's a big a- uh, MLC fan. He likes... Uh, yeah. All the MLC fans are going to like uh, Joe's no nonsense approach to this, but I don't. I think Joe did a fine job. Yeah, I, I think Joe did a fine job too. Ari Jane makes me happy to see Ray happy. There you go. Some positivity. Let me check my emails. Will here. everyone streaming be at least as decent as Chad and donate at least some of their super chat earnings to Aaron's abandoned children? Yes, yeah, so they're just sitting in an alley somewhere. I, I will make sitting sure. in an alley. I will go give them. Uh, I will go give them some of the super chat money. I promise. I'm a wiener and Stu Pitt. All right. I'm a wiener. And so, I, so juvenile. <laughs> yeah. While you're turning into Aaron, just questions. Can you ask him boxers or briefs? Jeez. Uh. You know what? It's not. What are the ones? Uh. The the. Not the. They're not boxers. They're not briefs. They're not boxer briefs. What are the thing? The athletic shorts or whatever they're called. That would be free it. balling. Free no, balling. No, not free balling. I don't <laughs> spandex. Have my... Spandex. No, not spandex. It's the you know the ones that. You All right. Know. We don't really need to. But who gives a fuck, yeah. right, Ray? Yeah. Who gives a shit? Aaron, it's funny how you just can't admit that you are selling VIPs membership and merch for entries into cash draws without. We solved this one. I think we solved that problem. We already solved this like one, I, man. Like I said, Ray, you oh, won. Oh, I'm getting some interesting emails. Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. I'll keep your secrets. I don't reveal sources. Hit me up. Let's Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. 10,000 subs. When have I ever said the opposite? <laughs> We're not even to 10,000 yet. I hope to be an e-beggar with 10,000 subs someday. Ray, you're all right. Or all right for traditionalists. <laughs> Thank you, Flimsy. 
By the way, did that uh, S- a great Stoney's point owner actually go to Florida that day? Did he actually go to Tampa that day? Obviously, he's not. I don't. That. I don't know, but I know that I I talked to Cheetos about it, and he thought it was. He's like, who, I I think his uh, his quote was. Who are these retards? So I don't I don't think it bothered him too much. And plus, so then why did you come on your show and be like, they're messing with our sponsors? This is beyond the line. I, I don't after the shit they pulled, I don't think it would go too well. Yeah, it wouldn't be just one punch, right? Here we go. Cheetos is a problem. Yeah. Why are you constantly accusing Patrick Melton of doxing? He's never doxed you or the aquarium your mother-in-law lives in. Have you accused Patrick doxing? Melton of doxing? No, I said uh, Chad tried to show my house on his stream before. That's not doxing. Yeah, that was uh, bullshit. No. That's uh, I think not what cool. Patrick's done is he's involved people who aren't on air. Like, that's kind of his scummy thing. And kind of the really creepy comments about April that I've heard about. I, I, I don't know. Him, he's- Ask him what are the creepy comments about April. What did I say that sexualized April specifically? I want an answer. He says it all all the time. People want to talk about your yeah. co- like. She put herself in that position as Again, your co-host. Absolutely. So, like, I, like I've always said, people can say whatever they want. They can judge me. I can judge them. That's fine. But people should say whatever they want. One advantage Chad has over Patrick is that Chad has a legitimate reason to dislike me. One hundred percent has a legitimate reason to dislike me, and that's fine. The other guy, it's just seems. I'm the other guy now. Kind of out of nowhere. Yeah, it's fun. Aaron, you present yourself as someone knowledgeable on all topics but belittling others as stupid. What credentials do you have? Or just another person who was too smart for the system. <laughs> I wasn't too smart for the system. I fucked up and I had to run away to the internet. What are you talking about? I'm the dipshit. <laughs> didn't I didn't I say earlier, Ray? I don't think this guy's been paying attention to your wonderful interview. Yeah. Didn't I say that I'm a dumb guy who does dumb shit and I will continue to do dumb um, shit? I love how he pretends to be tough and okay. Meanwhile, him and April said Patrick uh, and these people need to be in a mental hospital for their evil. Remember he said I tried to blow up the world. Reference he uses such hyperbole. Uh, saying creepy things about April. Could you Here we be go. more specific? I think the zooming in on the forehead and then making appearance comments, nothing that should be How's that sexual? the rules. It's just a general fixation on a woman and her appearance while you're staring at their show on stream. It's just, I don't know, Not again, not something I would do. How is it sexual? You accuse me all the time of it being sexual. How is a forehead sexual? Make him answer. Yeah. I think people think more like he's making like overtly sexual comments about her and things of that nature. No, it's appearance based comments, which I think when a guy's which making none of the rest of us get right. Yeah, what that is mean? true. You do give Chad upper lip shit. Uh, everybody, everybody on the network doesn't refer to Ray as pussy chin in the group chat or anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So talk about appearance. And if it is just her face, I, I, I get it. Maybe you're going to be sensitive because it's your wife. Exonerated. In the, in the yeah. she is in the public. Yeah, no, she absolutely is. I'm just saying when it's the guy and there's two people on screen and the zoom in and the fixation is on the chick, in my opinion, there's something weird going on there. Wouldn't it be weirder if the fixation was on you? Be hotter. Um, (laughs) No, I I also he's he's doing that because he knows it fucks with you. Right. Be honest. He, he, He knows it bothers you. It's a little. I'm just getting into the psychology of it. I'm more like you know, boy, when you don't like something. But the producer's listening to NLO because he asked that really quick. Thank you. On like what's so I mean, make him admit there's nothing sexual. Make him admit it. Like what do you what do you really what do you really do in there? Well, also I think we I think we all have big foreheads on the internet, anyways. But also like you, you focus on Chad's upper. If there's so many things to dislike Chad about, his upper lip is not one of them. <laughs> there's a long list of. Wow, he just admitted it. He's such a piece of oh, shit. By the way, I don't like that he doesn't have much of an upper lip. Like, yeah, I mean, so that's, many that's, other... it's low on the list. It's, it's low on the list. Low. Aaron belongs with Terry Clifford, Jack Tobert into oblivion. You guys are doing your best. Flimsy Greenberg, why are you constantly accusing Patrick Mountain of doxing? He's never accused you or the aquarium. Oh, you sent that to the wrong one? Richard Staska. Thank you, Flimsy. Either way, I appreciate that. That was great. Family should be left out of work life. We got that one twice, but yeah. Aaron calling someone a hanger honor is as hypocritical as Ray calling someone a feminine douche. <laughs> oh, man. You can't talk that way about the blood sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, this is so sad the only thing good about this interview is just- that producer's definitely listening to nlo i mean that was a quick 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 thank you man you got him to admit he's full of shit 
He accuses me of doxing. He accuses me of sexualizing April. I don't do either. He's like, in my opinion, I just feel like there's something I feel like. Guys, it's all bullshit. It's podcasts. Yeah. It's a show. It's supposed to be fun, you I'm motherfucker. So seriously, I'm going to get this guy. He's going to quit his show. He's going to go off the internet. You're going to carry that rage with you, and it's going to yes. be early is what it's going to do. Well, I'm glad that the Bob thing got talked about with the tax. I didn't know. Oh, Stut Joe is one of us. Nice. I just knew like there was a tax and like some stuff that was taken. Shout out to Stut Joe. Interpreted as being uh, yeah. like threatening in some way. Like here comes some blowback or something. I get it. And if, so you're, that's and, if you're in, and if you're in my shoes, like you're hearing the stuff that I'm hearing again. And I know this sounds what I'm hearing. And there's nothing I He's can like do. He's like Trump. You know what I mean? People are saying I've been told shit from that side. And it kind of puts you into a little bit of a panic. You try to, my mistake was you try to reach out to the people that you don't want it to harm just in case it gets out there. I hope your sister fucking gets beached. I don't give a fuck. You guys act like I have to give a fuck about him and his family. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like, who cares? done nothing with it. That's 100%. I hope he dies in the Minnesota dirt. That Borgeson mom died. I'm not a good guy. I told you don't follow me. She was plunged by a strapping young lad true story now is I, that I, I, really i don't know really something that needs to uh, yeah no cross talk in the chat please wreck all comments to the host all right he's come, he's gonna be a steel toe mod there you go yeah. that's a troll ban him i <laughs> Did you guys want to get beached t-shirt <laughs> oh god does he still not have a pool no he's never getting a pool Aaron covers his. These guys are just hack now. I mean, this is just the boobs worst thing. If are they you saying you have man boobs? Is that what this is? It is the same comedy condo. Yes. Your tits than I do. It's, it's a house. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, tell you, Joe. I'm gonna. I'm gonna respectfully disagree. Sir, I was I, on the broadcast on Uncle Rico the night you took your shirt off. Look, was that was. Uh, I, you know what? Saw it. Don't make me pull but, it up right now. I'm going to tell you right now, I think if you compared uh, Chad and I, I think they would be. Oh, uh, well, fair enough. But you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm talking about the main personalities in criticism. Okay, I didn't know you were specifically yeah. referring yeah. to Chad. Okay. I don't know what the fuck any of these. Is there a post like. show? And also, I, 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 I like Patrick Melton. He's a friend of mine. We've done shows together. But he's not someone that should be making fun of any other dude's appearance. Let's right. let's let's be honest. Like, it's, Why? That's yeah, all. Uh, Why? He zooms into your pirate beard and receding hairline as well. Movie. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> okay, Can we well, talk you know about what? the goatee, actually, since it's come yes! up? Yes! It was on my list of things that I wanted to bring up to you. This actually. guy rules. I'm, I'm going to guess, guess something. I want to make a guess for it. I'm going to guess, and this is using every That you don't like it. Of, that's, that's, that's not like that you it. don't like it. I, I don't love it. But I, my <laughs> question, though, the question I had was, do you you think it looks good? I am so uh, I've been on the fence with this thing from the beginning. And the reason is this. I cannot grow facial hair. Yeah, so I thought we it, know right. so I thought <laughs> one, why you shouldn't do that one time in my life. I'm going to grow it out. I'm going to see where it goes. And so I feel like if I cut it off at this Mama, point, Mama, movie and, the and then it's never going to happen again. But if I keep it, I'm going to continue to be in this this state of flux. Of, Look where he it, picks it all out it. right here. He waited till you were on like vacation to experiment. With Look where he pulls it out from oh, stress. Oh, Look, oh, Newport, Joe, I'm it's sorry, short Newport, right there in the middle. Hey, can don't. we talk about the girdle real quick, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the is, it's, fastened, it's fast and tight. Yeah, the girdle. Now we're having is, fun. I believe a Tyson Fury shirt there it is yeah the uh the gypsy king t-shirt is the girdle today so there we go right. Ooh. So now that we've gotten to that we'll keep moving on <laughs> joe's a big steel guy. wow <laughs> in defense uh yeah he's, he's team shuli network so yeah he's i'm he's, team shuli network i'm yeah. team oh no i'm sorry today it's dumb shuli network yeah sorry i was in my defense, my me saying that it would be dumb of Bob to fucking live stream. That's hey, what, uh, and, hey, Red Fox Mad, be honest. Did you accidentally super chat me ten dollars? Did you mean to super chat that in theirs? <laughs> Live my life, Aaron. Why do you? Because he super chats here a lot, actually, Red Fox Mad. But he must dual watch and do it accidentally. That's funny. Is that winning? 
Are they doing that? Well, I tell you what, uh, as far as calling everything a win, everybody in podcasting wants to win and destroy and this and that. So like calling I can't wait to win. (laughs) When am I going to (laughs) win? Calling everything a win is kind of fucking with the people that do that. Like the fans, the, the, Oh, welcome Jules, David, but they're fans. Oh my God. It's red by his wife. Or you're not this. So if you say you are winning, that makes them, that drives them a little nuts. And it's kind of, Ray. I think the reason you're not winning is you're the only one that's not like fully on board with the Shuli network. Everyone else seems to be really happy around here. I'm, I'm the only one that smiles. I am happy surely has the best team joe needs a show i actually agree with that one i think i'd be very interested to hear joe's thoughts on a lot of things y'all are hipper than i am do you know what ftw means i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing uh, for the for win the oh for the win oh, the oh jesus oh, christ you. it can also mean fuck the world but i think in this context these are the people we're dealing with that's the guy that trolls us in the men are chat uh, men are talking chat really hard, but he's hilarious. That guy. Oh, he hates me way more. You're we fine. got her, everybody. We got one. <laughs> Poor Ray. Uh, I wonder if Kumia is watching this. I'm sure he's really proud of his new bottom boy. I, I don't think he knows yeah, anything I do. I don't think yeah, he knows. I don't anything. think. He, yeah. No. Question for Joe. Is it okay to cheat on your pregnant wife? Hey, there he is again with the same question. I don't yeah, think uh, yeah. anybody should be basing their morality around what I think, but no, I do not think that it is okay to cheat on your wife. Oh. Unless you've got some kind oh, of, that was for you know, Joe. And, and, I, and I will say this. I don't think it's a good thing either. And if I ever did it, I would be very upset with myself for it. I'm glad. Take me to the lake. Ray's Wi-Fi has been so inconsistent and unreliable. <laughs> Aaron's kids are calling it dad. See, oh, uh, that's uh, fucking funny. You can't. That's funny. You gotta make that funny. One. There's no vitriol in that one. That one's just a right, funny exactly. side vitriol. Yeah. He's taking shots at both of us. Ray, no. are you are you heading west to rob Perry C on May 13th? Perry Caravello? I, I never met him. But he's a good like, you yeah. like you like uh her. donnie darko nobody wants your wife think of a beach someday with a 14 inch corn tip is it your birthday remember that movie uh, donnie darko this is all fine and dandy but what sparkle motion LeBron's legacy. Some, sometimes i doubt your commitment yeah. to sparkle motion still don't like him if he's not in a Cavs uniform producer joe you're the fucking man hey wait he puts those up it, yeah Aaron has bigger cup size than April. I am here to smash untruths and rumors, and that is a nasty one. Yeah, as big as his tits are, they're not as big as hers. Attaboy, Joe. You're an honest broker. The potato sells tickets. The potato don't sell tickets. Yeah, can't wait. Call me and I'll move tickets. He'll get there. <laughs> Give Stevie some time. Joe, you're the star. Yes, he is the star. You know, I was joking. This was supposed to be a fun interview. Chats, but I'm sort of starting to get serious about that. Yeah. I actually didn't think you were kidding before. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Surely pays me. But on the other hand. Oh, F Joe. F yeah. Joe. Corey Adams, here we go again. Now it's just now they're just bored and like waiting for super chats to come in and reading them. I mean, this is just set. This Aaron's an expert with idiots because he comes in and just disarms us. And like Ray, look, Ray can talk shit all he wants. I like Ray, but like he's not the guy for this kind of shit. I don't think it'll stop. We could go all day, probably. Okay, right. This is all they're doing. <laughs> Klein filters? I don't even know. What Klein I don't think is. so. I think if you can have children, you can't have that one. So I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm good on that point. But if you want me to go get tested, I just for your own peace of mind. G Rob, thank you, Joe, for speaking up. You are saving the show. Don't listen to the person who wants you to shut up. Well, he never coughed up his twenty bucks. He didn't. Peace and love. Peace and love. Carlos Danger. Carlos Danger. Yeah. I did just get a text from Bob uh, Ray that you are fired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Steel Toe keeps telling him that this has gone great. This is a great interview. Ray is doing good. But, like, that's not true. We all know that. Uh, they seem to love it. Now we get back to my questions my hard-hitting questions is uh jesus christ uh da, 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 da. all right these are all seems to be 
He's throwing Chad out questions. Shit. Uh, he doesn't even have the guts to ask the questions he came up with before the show. Uh, this is a bad. Uh, yeah, but I'm done talking about fucking Chad. So are you? Are you? Why? Stuff? Are you? Are you is that, are you retiring from that after you saw there's, like there's how no, it's gone? There's no retiring or unretiring. It's just kind of like I prep a show, and if shit comes up, then it comes up and we cover it. Like no, it's you don't. In that world, like there's some weeks we don't talk about any of it, and there's some weeks where two shows in a row will have a 15, 20 minute segment on it. It's uh, it's yeah, it just kind of depends on what's happening. But one thing's for sure, like coming, like I said, coming from radio to internet, you realize how many fucking you know, crazy people are out there. So you do have to kind of pick who you make. Every, everybody's of, nuts except him. <laughs> and who understands that you're just watching their content and making fun of what they're doing. By the way, we had almost 400 all night last night while he was around 250. So, like, we're actually beating him now, like the hate watchers. Right after oh, this, it's surely Bob and the guys. Oh, all right. Um, all right, we'll get ready to wrap up then. Let them do get into their show. I think it's time to cut Aaron loose. Let's wrap the show up. After Ray, the show. Ray, After the show. Uh, it was fun being uh, being in the barrel with you, buddy. Dude, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. My apologies for this internet connection. And and thanks for Ugh. doing this, man. It's a lot of balls going on there. There's a lot of people that were going to give you shit. You knew that going in. Oh, um, no, nothing I believe me, nothing I haven't heard before. I mean, it's from and Ray, so you like, can't. Uh, all this stuff. The reason I wanted to do you didn't get any hard hitting shit more than anybody uh, more than anyone else's is because I watch you. You have a good time. You're generally just trying to do a good show. And honestly, that's that's the name of the game. You do your show. You like people. You don't like people. You try to entertain your audience as best you can. If they don't like you, you don't really have to cater to them. And then you go and you live your life. It's important if you're on the internet. And you rant for hours a day about how they can't do it, what you do. Your identity. You can't. His yeah, whole no, fucking no, thing is mean, ranting about how no one can do what he does. That's his whole thing. That's between you guys to fucking, but that's. Like I said, I mean, uh, what, what, Ray's what, what, gay. Ray's yeah. gay. When he first had a problem with what Corey said about him, which again, Corey didn't say anything had. Nobody cares uh, about Corey. I out to him. I said, "Would you like to come on with Corey and I and you know talk this out?" And I think he just posted that publicly and made fun of it instead of responding to me. So, yes, <laughs> I I can't remember. He maybe yes. did say something back, but it wasn't. Yes, I'd love to talk to you. No guys. one wants to go on Steel Toe, you dummy. I'm kind of confused about what it is he said that pissed him off so much. No one's mad at Corey. Yeah, I think you're both good at what you do, and they're. Uh, Chad is just bipolar, so there's no, I don't know, there, there's no whatever. I don't think there's any hope. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm certainly not a doctor. There's something yeah. there, but I don't know. I'm not yeah. sure exactly. One day you're going to Well, you cool tell people they're mentally ill and need to be in a hospital all the time, so let's get with our spaghetti tooth nerds. It's Chad. So, um, all right, we got one more super chat. Oh, no, it's, it's not even a super chat. I just wanted to address it because it came up. This is a steel toe fan. Probably, probably Kate Rio personality. I don't have a switch in my head that like turns me into a different person. He's been very professional. And I want to say right. this. I, look at, I don't know if this person likes Ray or likes me or just doesn't like Joe or whatever. I in no way feel that Joe is being cunty. He's I not host no. a show for a living. If someone wants to ask me honest questions of which they have problems with me with i have no problem talking all day about that i don't i don't want anyone walking away from this going joe's an asshole joe was just being this or that joe has opinions joe has feelings about me about situations and things like that joe gave a perspective that was really important i gave my perspective back i think that's remarkably fair yeah, I'm glad Joe was. Wow, here. Like, you he heard him. More of this he said I he'll sit with anybody and answer real, anybody honest questions. Total credit for showing up and sitting. That gives me an idea. Half. Like, I think there's a lot of people out there that wouldn't have. And I will I, say this: and addressed I, most of the shit that came up. Even if you're spinning a little bit there, you still addressed it at least. Yeah. Well, and if you sometimes when you're spinning like that, it's because you're thinking on the spot. It's like, uh, like with the John thing, you go you know what, maybe I did fuck up there. Or like with the Bob thing, you start spinning because you're thinking in your head, yeah, here is where I fucked up and here's where I could have done a better job. I, I've i always appreciated when people can do that. I've always had a deep respect for people who can do that. So I try to do it as often as I can. None of us are perfect. None of us are going to nail it 100% of the time. We all get stubborn. We all get pig-headed, whatever. 
But when you can, when you feel that feeling in your gut where you're like, maybe I fucked up, voice it, vocalize it. It can go a long way. And I, I like uh, I like what Joe brought to the show today personally because I, I liked it, it too. Yeah, when it comes to like facing this stuff, I don't even see this as facing anything. I see this as a, a bunch of people on the internet, uh, you know, had a good time, you know, whether they despise me or like me. Uh, Joe got to get his feelings out. I'm sure that was cathartic. I got to respond to them. That was cathartic. I don't see anything like negative or shitty or like, uh, wow, you you know, we really stuck in there. We did a show and I thought we had a good time. And for the record, to, I had no desire to do that. I don't have a problem with you or I don't hate you. Right. I don't Ray particularly was find your show kids. entertaining, but, you know, that has nothing to do with it. Right. I, you know, you, know, you guys like, came full circle. See how you guys did that? That could be you and Patrick Melton. You can come together. I, I can look, see it happening. I can tell you right now, Ray, uh, despite like the kind of uh, <laughs> leaps he's taken, I really don't. When I say I don't have a problem with him, I really don't. I kind of just nothing the guy. Um, you know, he's doing what he's doing. I'm not going to do gay ops or strike or anything like that. Um, if he ever wanted to go, hey, you know what? This has all kind of been silly and ridiculous. I go, you know what? I agree. It's been silly and ridiculous. But I think he's having a little fun doing what he's doing. All right, let's read these uh, last. Let's, we, yeah. Read well, the last which one. is it? Am I like doxing you and hurting April and your family and your sponsors, or am I having fun? He has it every way, all the time. Oh, the mud shark? Talking about the mud shark, or you should be happy. Talking about me. Joe, Joe. Yeah. Does April have a landing strip or a wood floor? April is one of the hottest fucking women, woman, women, woman, women you've ever In seen. In St. Cloud. Seen. Let's go Mets, right? Now it's, it's New York Giants, dude. It's New York Giants. Ask New York him if he still likes to canoe. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. When does the Joe start on the network? I promise you. Uh, April and I are going to go finish Primal Fear after that, and then we have to uh, go to the gym. I, I can't no, be People old. literally wanted me to, like, stab you with the fucking... I know. <laughs> they wanted me to come through and just, like, fucking murder and, you. And I, I was con and I was confident you wouldn't. I, I, uh, think, for, I think, honestly... To me, the most impressive person in this whole thing is Joe because everything he said has been incredibly fair. It's come from a place of, you know, I, I don't dig what you do and I have these problems with you. But none of it, you can tell disingenuous people from honest people. And Joe's an honest dude. And there is no rule that says he has to like what I do. What I do is not for everybody. Some people think it's uh, too offensive. Some people think it's hokey and lame. Like it's for all tastes. There's billions of people out there and billions of shows. Doing a stupid morning show doesn't. He thinks there's billions of shows. And yeah. you know what? I, I I forwarded that message you sent me to Shuli, and he knows you feel that way. Like I said, all you got to do is get rid of the shaka thing and let the people do that free entry thing where it's I, like one as opposed to 20 entries. Ray, or, Ray, I think people aren't giving you the credit for the genius idea that was. Yes. Do we need a court order to end this? All right, we're leaving. All right. The clubs are getting angry, guys. All right. All right. I love everybody. That's it. Thanks for joining me, Aaron. Thank That's you, Ray. Show. Peace. Ooh. And that's it. And there's going to be an after show on the Shuli Network, you guys are saying. Um, so we'll watch that. But let's go over the takeaways. The number one takeaway, I would like to just get ready, Clippers, uh, announce the number one takeaway here at the end of the interview was that Aaron is willing to sit down with anybody who wants to ask real, genuine questions. And he doesn't harbor any animosity towards me, really. He doesn't even think about me. So I'd propose, I'd like to set up an interview with me, Aaron, and April. They can ask me point blank anything. I can ask them point blank anything. With the genuine good faith, this is 100% for me, good faith intention of resolving some of this stuff and moving forward, you know, I, I I don't understand why you keep saying I'm doing like behind the scenes stuff and working with people off the show. I'm not working with anyone. Um, I And again, the only thing I want you reported for are violations of terms of service, not for bullying people, not for making fun of anyone, not for Chad. 
No sexualizing of April. I want you, me, April, all of us have to be there. Calm, no yelling, no cutting, no. Everyone gets to speak as long as it takes. My genuine intention is for you to change this lottery to be compliant. I want it to be 100% compliant. And then I'm done. By the way, the same thing he did tonight about the Stuttering John stuff, that was that was great. He goes, you know, I probably stepped over some lines and said some stuff. I, we, we were all in, you know, like that was amazingly, amazingly uh, honest and showed contrition and, and remorse. And, you know, I'm sure there's stuff on my end that I could even say that about when confronted with it. And I know there is on his end. Because a lot of coping and lies coming out of that side. Uh, there just are. I mean, you don't have to acknowledge it or whatever. There are. We all know it, all three of us. So I propose that you stream it on your channel, get your super chats. I'll stream it on my channel, get my super chats. Nobody owns it. And then, you know, 90 other channels can Skype it and snipe it and flip it down, tip it and reverse it. I don't give a fuck. Because the goal of it, again, would be to, you know, for you to stop saying I'm doing, like, all this heinous stuff when I'm not. You know, the the mentioning April's mom and your sister stuff, that's a lark. You know what I mean? A lark. Those are the scooters fat people get around in. Uh, no, just kidding, though. That's a bit. Um, but, no, you know, we only mention that because, of course, it gets to people and we're joking around. The same way you went after that fat woman on radio. So that's my offer. It is a genuine offer. I, th no gotchas. No, th there's no gotcha. It's me. I want to talk to you. And you talk to me. We both do it on our stream. So it's neutral for everybody. Everybody's like Chad. Mo Look at Chad. To mod no moderators. Cause they're all like Chad can't moderate. Ray can't moderate. These guys can't ask questions. The producer was the most coherent guy in that whole thing. Um, so that's my that's my thoughts. That's my real. We should set that up. No one's gonna go over the line. I'm not gonna just go off into ad hominem attacks and start making fun of April's mom on your stream. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not after Ashley Larue and the. I'm not. That's not what it will be. I. You have my word on that. I'm not Chad. I'd like to honestly just discuss the lottery stuff. Get a little bit into the blowback stuff about Bob. I think those are my concerns. Everything else we make fun of you for is like, you don't pay your co-host, you're corny, you're hacky. Like, that's all like back and forth, as you say. Fun radio gags. Um, The Ray, uh, the rape up show. Is this the wrap up show? Which one are we supposed to be watching? Is that the one we're going to watch? Is it called the Rape Up Show? Um, people are waiting. That must be it. So we'll wait in there. But that's my that's my idea. If you're look, you say you're open to genuine talking. We're both family men. Nothing below the belt. All the like shit we go, you know, we tease and go after and zoom and all that's none of that. Just a real conversation, one on one, on one. April has to be there so she can get her little feelings out. That's fine. I want everyone to be in that. I think I think that would be really, really interesting and good. Um, but I have a feeling he won't do it. I have a feeling he won't do it. He'll go, no, that guy's below the belt. Remember, I'm evil. I need to be in a mental hospital. Right there, you just said it out loud in front of everybody that you have no feelings about me. He's doing his thing. He's having fun. So which is it? I'm either mentally ill and can't be. Shout outs to the Stut Joe uh, guy, though. He, he saved that. He saved the whole thing there. But that's that's all I'd really like to talk about is the lottery stuff and, uh, you know, the firearm stuff. Why you won't just, again, why you won't just open up all your videos and check the two boxes you're required to check by YouTube regulations? 
And then you say, like, well, if you guys don't get them taken down, you fail. It's like, well, now you're like, you've told the internet you won't report us. So, like, now everyone's going to report your videos for all these violations. Um, don't fall for the con man, Melton. You falling. I don't know what that means, but thanks for the super chat. I mean, what does that even mean? Is this, is this more steel toe slam poetry? Don't fall for the con man, Melton. You fall. Um, 131 are waiting for this uh, wrap-up show with Ray DeVito. And I imagine Ray's saying goodbye to steel toe right now, trying to make everything copacetic on there and like that was a good it's a really good show right it's a really good show um i'll tell you what i'm done with ray's show (laughs) i mean that's that was one of the saddest most pathetic things today he did exactly what everyone thought he'd do and who even knew like by the end he'd tucker himself out and need a nap by the end, he was looking through his own questions, literally going, that's I don't want to, I'm not going to ask that. It's like, Jesus. It means don't cuck for Aaron. What are you talking about? Look, you guys want to talk about being intelligent and stuff. And then you say something like to me, don't cuck for Aaron. It's like. Excuse me? Who are you talking to? Tiny boxes checked. Whoa. Tasks completed one by one. Progress slowly made. Pages of fine print. Terms of service we agree. Clicking without thought. Words spoken from truth. A conversation so pure. Honesty's release. That's nice. That's actually really nice. Imagine telling me don't cuck for Aaron. We're live. You're willing to work it out with Aaron, you turkey? Uh, You seem to be new here, man. Why don't you go in a corner and think about what you just said to me? Well, well, well. Please don't even have Ray on this. Uh, I don't know how many of you were watching live, either on, on our network or on the 37 other networks that were carrying this live. Shout out to the Mud Shark. Shout out to Melton. <laughs> uh, I know they're probably watching. Well, I know Melton's watching. Uh, he was hanging in, hanging on every word. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Let me just start off by saying uh, I got to give some praise here. Number one, Aaron, you came in here. You didn't run away. You faced every super chat that was put up, every... Hard hitting question, Ray. No, he didn't. You, and you, and and you, he's surely you, dumb. <laughs> you made it through the storm, my friend, and that I give you props for. Surely might be uh, dumb. And huh? The other props I got to give to is our boy Joe. I mean, Joe really stepped up to the plate. He's the and, only one uh, who did anything, and, and, and he still dropped the ball. Up with some stuff, and you know, didn't let stuff uh, just kind of go away, which I liked. You know, one of the reasons why I hired Joe is because he's heartless. So mm. I knew and, that. And, and an asshole. So. Yeah. I mean, mm. most heartless people are. So I knew that. that was my was- favorite part. One of the chatters wanted to know why I'm so cunty. I was like, because I don't have a switch in my head that turns it off. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, Joe did great. Now let's get into this. Okay. Because number one, here, here's. So I get a text last night at one o'clock in the morning, one fifteen. From Mr. Ray DeVito. Hmm. Right? Yeah. And 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 I'm gonna read this text because it's insane. It's insane. I can't figure this. You Ray turkey. Out. I, I, <laughs> I love that. nothing but try to be supportive to this guy. But just listen to this. He goes, <clears throat> I'm watching MLC from today. No disrespect, but if Bob does start live streaming like he said he's going to while I'm doing the show tomorrow, then I'm going to quit the stream and just do stream on my YouTube. Jesus. I'll do next Thursday on your network after he quits and goes to his <laughs> and does the interview. Then he'll he'll grant me the right. favor of coming back and doing the following Thursday on your network. But I have to stand up for myself. And that's a shit move to do to me. Meanwhile, nothing's been done. No. Nothing's yeah. been done. Bob made a joke. Bob said something that 
pissed off a comic. Every comic has has a line where this isn't funny. Right. And you found ways. It's Bob Levy. He thinks Bob Levy isn't funny, apparently. Uh, but I have to stand up for myself, and that's a shit move to do to me. No, I don't think he's cunty at all. The flow. What a flow. How about if you want a flow, Ray, get sure. out of that shit fucking comedy condo you were in with no what which Chad told you on Monday. On Monday, there is no Wi-Fi there. And you said, Oh, I'll just check into a hotel with better Wi-Fi. Did he? No. He just yeah. decided to do it from there. Had <laughs> Ray, let me ask you this question. Had Ray done it on his channel, do you think he would have got a room somewhere with better Wi-Fi? No. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Interesting. No. Right? You know how much a room so is? Writes, uh, <laughs> it's going to mess is up. Is Ray headlining? I, I imagine he's featuring. About this. How Wait a minute. First of all, what flow? What flow yeah. would I ruin? Imagine, in the you know, room? I headline that club, but I don't even headline it anymore. They don't pay enough. Steel toe when they figured out the, the prize raffle. I used to thing. go there because my friend was a GM. Because uh, the fa and I love this the fact that I even have to be concerned about this. How dare you even concern Ray Devito about this, Bob? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are, Bob? I don't know. Bob is a uh, giant piece of shit, huh? Just do the stream <laughs> on my own. I'm seriously not cool with. As this. soon as Chad rage quit, quit the ML stream yesterday, he was texting me. So he didn't rage quit. He wasn't mad. He was texting me before the show was over. I'm not going to text him back because I want to see what Ray's bringing to this tape. Still, I believe. It was the first I time I've texted after, with Chad after, uh, since the incident. After we did the uh, meeting earlier today. But Chad wants to do a roast at uh, Misery Con West. He wants to have a roast of Chad Zumach. We'll take live super chat. Um, roasts from the crowd who's not there. Having a message last night at like one something. Yeah, he texted me first, then he went after you guys. So he's got to stand up for himself, but he's attacking the guy that had nothing to do with it to stand up for himself. And he goes, and so after I write him, have a good show, he writes, it's all good. Still going to address it because it got me worked up. Mm -hmm. I wish he brought some of that energy to the interview. Well, that's what I'm saying. He was Hold so on. Calling Chad wow. gay gets to him? Dumb network as he calls it. Really? Not to mention, he's sitting here That's talking. That's funny. He never, he never watches anything on the Man, it's about to rain in Vegas, dog. Like he's, uh, he's, he's a team player like the rest of us. And then he goes, where are my clips? How come Joe doesn't clip stuff on my show? Truly <laughs> quit Stern to do this. <laughs> said, when Is that true? Worth clipping, we'll clip it. <laughs> I thought all these guys were on like way long ago. So I, I was like. I, Who's the bottom guy? tweaked me last night and i still i bit my tongue i said i'm not i'm not gonna get involved dave davler what the fuck <laughs> mike Fight Morse. Bird. yeah mike morris drives faster than ray's wi-fi uh, that's the other thing that bugged the shit i mean he knew a week going into this that this place had the shittiest wi-fi he even said it himself yeah mm -hmm. i never had a problem there we're gonna be tuning in to watch this you don't give a shit about what you do you know what i mean so do you think a man who headlines an open mic night really gives a shit about what he does? He should. He should. Then maybe he won't have to headline open mic nights. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? On, he'll be featuring. Fuck, if I, if I knew that my viewership was going to be quadrupled on one interview, mm -hmm. I'd make sure everything works at its fucking best that mm -hmm. day. Yeah, Charlie, uh, Bob ordered the birds to go after Ray. I, I wouldn't do that to Ray. He, the, and listen, he hotels are expensive. If he would have come to me and said, "Hey, man, I want to make sure this interview goes great," uh, I would have got him a room. I'd have got him a suite. <laughs> but it makes him as if better. hotel Wi-Fi is good. Have you ever tried to do a stream from a hotel Wi-Fi? His friend's bandana. <laughs> They're all acting like hotel Wi-Fi is great. It's the worst internet in the world. All he literally had to do was scoot over and plug into the hardwired internet. It's uh, all like got, it's all it. like capped. Listen, <laughs> that, real quick, if I could on the whole plugging into the Wi-Fi, I said that to him before we went live because he was um, glitchy, and he said that his MacBook doesn't have an Ethernet plug on it. I don't know if that's true or not, but do y'all know? I don't. I don't have one. I don't have a MacBook. I don't use MacBooks, but so I don't there's know no way to, to hardwire a MacBook into a Wi-Fi router. You need an adapter. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But he, like, you figure it out. Like, he did. Nobody he d on these shows knows anything. Like, I don't I don't know if there's a, a thing for that. Tell that he was already thrown out of, you know, he left at 11 <laughs> right. and went downstairs. Right. But he but what I'm saying is he didn't he didn't say, oh, I'll just do it from my car. He gave a shit. He did it from the lobby of the hotel because because the Wi-Fi works and he knows it'll work well. Welcome to the Joe show coming this fall only on the Shuley Network. Yeah, I, I listen, I Joe was specifically told before this, if people are putting up super chats, they go up. If Ray refuses to read them or walks off, you're taking over. Uh, that was Joe's because I didn't want to be there because then everybody, like, oh, she's going to get involved with it. Jews, Jews, Jews. Fine. So I stay out. And and Joe, Joe was our our conduit. Mm -hmm. And he he was Joe's a douchebag. I agree. But he was great today. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. So, uh, kudos to Joe. Somebody uh, just sent me Aaron's entire rap sheet. I, I'm curious to hear. Uh, I, I wasn't able to watch. Uh, Holy Mel shit. Stream. I'm curious to hear what. Melton's take on this was how he thought Ray came off, how he thought uh, Aaron came off, because I tell you, guilty, disorderly the, conduct. The thing that I noticed was um, convicted speeding. I think I think Aaron would be willing convicted, to sit down and fail to obtain to driver's license. Mm -hmm. yeah. Convicted yeah. petty so misdemeanor. Fucking awesome if him and Melton and Zumok can all sit down. I don't want Zumok show, in on it. This shit out. That's chaos. Um, good. Yeah. Let's get the potato on here. Sure. Send him a link. Failed to drive with ca potato, due care. Potato, convicted. On the shoe Exceeded again. speed limit. Yeah. Convicted. You know? Can, uh, I, can I say what I thought? <laughs> yeah, please. I want it because you were a big part of it. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, it was so funny that Ray got everything he's ever done. Busting balls. But basically, am I Dissolution am I with child. Live? You know what I mean? Kevin wasn't going to go live. We have a show later. You Ooh. know what I mean? Right. You're, uh, on at four, I, you're on at four today. And by the way, his exact quote was, that's not funny. What, it, you, it, what it, you said and insinuate was not funny. Yeah. Aaron said, he said, yeah, it's all his sheet. Aaron's family being obese <laughs> and, and, and his wife. <laughs> And he's going, no, Bob, you saying you're going to go live. He's got his divorce and her name on here. And uh, uh, Yesterday I said I was going to walk my dog for 20 minutes. And we we're going to film that and put that up against him. <laughs> we, wanted, we wanted to premiere a video of Bob walking his dog and picking up his shit. Oh, somebody else sent me some court docs. Hold on. We could outdraw viewership. And, that, and he's just like, the network doesn't have my back. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah, I mean, we, we got disorderly back, conduct. Uh, we charge. Back, <laughs> what did yeah, he do? You know, Imagine Aaron getting uh, tough. I mean, <laughs> Ray was I mean, a real winner today. Oh, I meant Weiner. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that uh, Ray came in like really nervous, like almost uh, worked up. It was he awful. Was talking very fast. So crazy. And he was uh, he was going a little off. I, I said what was going to happen at the beginning. That definitely Aaron will be the interviewer. He'll be the interviewer very soon into it. And, and I texted, he knows we texted what he's doing. Joe, uh, you and I both texted Joe at the same time. We go, hey, let's go. Get involved. This isn't <laughs> I'm right. going to learn about Ray DeVito. Yeah, yeah. and I thought that uh, I thought Aaron did a great job. I mean, he showed like, you know, Aaron controlled the whole show, thing. It doesn't it, it doesn't really matter. Except for the know, parts Joe piped up. This. It's just about having uh fun i get you know i use that word but uh, <laughs> and, uh yeah i mean he should have uh called me uh, it, it's just the way it's a weird thing and like and on on face on twitter he he unfollowed me and i unfollowed him he followed me back i followed him back Simple what as the that. fuck and yeah, he said a mess he sent a message inside of now not 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 a text but now a DM to kind of say what happened. Skagel. He could have just Skagel checked me. Do you understand that? Yeah. And he said it himself. Uh, but, like, but he did it the second time. He put it out even further yeah, right. onto, right. Uh, into a Twitter thing. So it's just like, you know, uh, I mean. Well, and, then, and then the other part was he reached out to me first before you. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like he was saying, I got to wash my hands of Bob when I did nothing. I, I did nothing. You know what I mean? I just, uh, just because I'm on a show, you know what I mean? Uh, I say what I want to say and I, I take it as far as I think I should take things. 
for what ha- comes at me. I, like, I'm not going to overstep it and fucking, you know what I mean? I got to be really pissed off. Listen, uh, I hear you, Steve. Uh, listen, uh, people don't like I mean, to call Joe saved the fucking well, day. You know what? Then this is what you get. We always did talk. This is what you get. This is, this is a lot, you know, this is a human interaction, old school. What and exactly, you- if there's a problem, if there's a problem, then you call. If we're just chatting back and forth, yeah, text message, definitely, you know. But if there's a problem, you call somebody. That's all I'm saying. MLC is going to destroy Ray. Ray. Ray, thanks to the viewers of the Shuli Network, mm-hmm. made a nice chunk the of change. Dumb Shuli Network. The Dumb Shuli Network, which he was ready to <clears throat> split with Aaron. <laughs> I mean, this Ray is just one great decision after another. <laughs> you got Aaron sitting up here going, I don't want it. You take yeah. it. We're good. So you're Shuley, trying to tell me Shuley Shuley made like, phone you phone know, towels. four or five hundred bucks. He's like, we can't. It's the most a show on Shuli Network's ever made. We can't be. Six hours to Tusla, <laughs> according to Bob. <laughs> uh, so he says, Aaron just said two weeks ago, Bob needs to apologize. I have nothing to apologize to. Yeah, I know, but he really said Bob needs to apologize. I, I to that's no insane. He might have said it in a certain way or whatever. Right, it's right, like, you know, right. it's like however you guys want to take it. I, I get mad when I'm supposed to get mad these days. There's nothing to be mad about right now. You know, uh, they're, I'm actually they're, having this time in my life, uh, that, really. No, you you described your growth perfectly. You think MLC gets Ray on, or do they just trash him for two hours without him? He actually gets upset with the shit that he needs to get upset with. I'm not so, going to waste my time or fucking thinking about stuff that is not anything. It's really nothing, you know? It's just the way it's done. We still don't have 200 likes. Come on, guys. Hit that like button. Give us a sub. Give us a thumb. And I'm not sticking mad. anywhere you want. Am I mad? You know, do I worry about blowback? Come on, man. You know what I mean? We should be at 300 uh, likes by, by this hour. Come on. We're way behind. Uh, uh, Aaron handled the <laughs> prize because that's a big issue in this steel toe world right now. Yeah. No, you got to talk all his way out of it. Apparently, the issue is um, that if you, you have to pay to play, basically, it's, mm. it's being advertised as a sweepstakes where anyone can win. But anyone who pays can win, and and I don't think I don't know the deed. I know even Shuli gets it, and, and I didn't. You know, I haven't watched the seven hours. And then he just I goes, did. "Hey, you know, we just but, uh, we do a fun show, and if that makes me a bad guy, hey." But yeah, I I think that was a big issue. I don't know the details of, so I don't know if it was handled well. Maybe it wasn't. Chat, uh, can give your thoughts on it, but that was a question that seemed to be brought up over and over and over again yeah to me to me i don't know anything about it and i really don't give a shit you know what i mean that's that's their deal you know they'd have to deal with that uh so me i don't have anything to say about that i have you know i have no idea that you can uh bob isn't even mad at the pool guy the guy swindled him out of it no he did no he did well technically he hasn't swindled him yet yeah so he's swindling him he's in the process No, no And by uh, the way, I would looked it up here on iMac uh, that most of them have Ethernet ports, and if they don't, you can get an adapter. For a okay. I mean, no, they don't have Ethernet port. It doesn't seem to be worried. <laughs> like what? Yeah, MacBook has an Ethernet port. Wrong. What year is this? These guys are so out of it. Yeah, but that's what it is. That's yes, actually, most MacBooks have an Ethernet port. It's like since 2009, have they? That it's. Okay. Eight? You know what I mean? I, I who the fuck goes the Unibody it? MacBook was 2008. I don't think they had Ethernet no, ports since then. I think it's better to build up. So next wait, hold on. Cassia says it's not Patrick. He did the thing, the trail off. Oh yeah, let's watch. Purposes, no deceptions about it. Purchases. Purchases. Okay. Well, then I don't know, and I don't yeah. know what the problem is. But people are saying different things, and I'm not. You know, let me just get something out of the way. Okay. I'm not a lawyer, but. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? I don't see why the guy would be doing it if it was going to get him in trouble. It's not worth it. He's That's dumb. I'm saying it makes him fifteen hundred dollars on the fan appreciation night. He makes fifteen hundred dollars. That's why rules and law. Yeah, you have broken the laws of YouTube. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> 
Uh, they laugh, but like they're very serious. That. Then there was all the super chats people were posting up. A lot of accusations about uh, Aaron cheating, which uh, he denied repeatedly. <laughs> Bob's uh, cracking up. A pool owner. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bobby Friend. I think he's hilarious. I think we can do a lot more with him here. With who? With Bobby. Uh, Bobby Friend is that the guy? Bobby in the Friend. I you said Valby Fenn. That's what I, I go. Yeah, okay, Val, him too. Him. John Valby. Yeah, it's, it's the can that, that Chad threw. Yeah, no, Bobby Fran does the sports heads. Stuck with a Hoyana. finger in her ass and called and, it yeah, a brownie. Really good on the air and, and, and a great guy. I got to meet him one night and just to fucking, uh, I, I like him a lot. Right. Uh, I so, like him a lot. You're gonna like the way you look. Before the stream started, Chad. Bob sounds just like Twitter that guy, says, huh? Uh, Melton is copying my idea to live watch what uh, the the Ray Devito interview. What and did writes, I do? Should I still do it? He asked the internet. Should I still do it? <laughs> the internet, where he gets all the love and respect. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what and, happened? Uh, and then he writes, and then and somebody writes just. What? Whatever. No, I'm not a lawyer. The guy's devastated. <laughs> I, I stopped, Chef. I, I'm not. I heard I something did. about Melton Coffee. And then somebody said, "Who cares? Just just watch the show." Like, and he goes, "No, but I thought of it first. It was like uh, I just pictured him on the floor banging his." his fist I didn't. And what? Throw it a tantrum. It's like just do whatever you want. <laughs> Is he talking be, about uh, me? Joe kind of sounds like Marvin the Martian. Did he just say Melton was on the floor pounding his fucking fist? What is he talking about? It's not bad. Clip it. (laughs) I missed it. I don't know what they're talking about. Marvin the Martian. He's a youngster. He didn't watch Bugs. Doesn't Bob sound like the men's warehouse guy? You're going to like the way you look. It's my ray gun. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, There is a way to get free playing pieces because of this. Because of steel toe. Wow, so that motherfucker you're, fucked up every day. <laughs> I know. Steel toe is behind the monopoly like scam. The you look. <laughs> I think what they're saying is if it's a contest, it's got to be open to everyone. Well, not and, and then it's not a contest if it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not stoned Imagine yet, so. going around yeah. and around about this for. I don't. Let's fix that bullshit. Yeah. This is the it's, second time, like, Shuli was saying something, like, snarky at me. Like, I pictured him rolling around, pounding his fist. It's like that's cra- about what? Ah, <laughs> why I, does everyone think I'm mad all the time? Shows where we have to read off. <laughs> you know, back in the day, we had to read off raffle tickets. I swear to God, like I hurt from grinning and laughing after these shows, and people can't stop telling me how mad I am. But I, I guess that was like can, you can't smoke a brisket if you're mad. Well, I think uh, yeah. that he that he was giving them out to people that he wanted to go to it wasn't so regardless of how much you buy or what you buy he's going to give it who wants to get so then it's not that's what that guy said i don't know but that's i think that's what that that's what he did yesterday that would make it not a you get a A gift card people don't realize and you know performers or whatever you want to call that there's a difference between having a problem with somebody or and just actually uh making a comment on a show you know what i mean There's, Mm. there's a big difference you know we kind of we're all in this kind of thing together and you know what i mean if somebody has a you know you don't really have to have a problem with someone to have an opinion that's yeah. it you know yeah uh hold on pip says they literally draw it in front of the camera nothing illegal about it youtube has no issue with it okay well yeah, that's fine you know i like like i said i, I don't see anybody doing there's something. no terms Why posted YouTube says you have to have guidelines posted, and also the guidelines have to include certain things. Also, that it can't be with firearm-related stuff. You, why did? Why are so many shows talking about this, but nobody knows anything about it? Uh, it's like it is just a link anybody could read if you want to bring it up on your show. About, yeah, about something that didn't happen. How do you? How do you counter that? How do you counter again, what? Again, Bob, it's like it's so stupid. This isn't the first guy in your life that I've had this discussion with you about mm-hmm. where <laughs> one little thing happens and all of a sudden a reaction from that mm-hmm. that doesn't even come close to warrant what happened. That's a sign. That's that's telling uh, you something Melton, that this person not you, has bro? felt this way about you for quite some time. Chad is pounding his fist about the idea of copying his going live idea. What going live idea? In my opinion. I don't know what everybody's talking about. Shuli was talking about Chad rolling around. Oh, okay. 
Hold on. What's Chad mad about? Uh, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's, I, uh, Chad's it's mad at me again? Is this on Twitter? I haven't totally been today. You know, I always push for him to be on MLC when, whenever anything, just a little talk. What the I fuck? Push, uh, for him to I be can't, there. you know, like Chad and I talk and then Chad's on Twitter talking shit about me. I don't understand. Real quick. If it's your own show, no. No, 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 no. It's just uh, to address something that they were talking about. Somebody made a comment on Patreon that I was being rude to Ray and why was that, why break his balls because i never do that to you guys and i never do that to you guys on the air because the opportunity doesn't present itself but exactly in our group chat that is all we do yeah all day long and even the before the shows balls. we bust balls yeah it's what happens Every, around here join them and set game. them straight uh, would be fun seriously and that, that's the key i, I you can't know, like people that aren't involved in it they apparently <laughs> take it very seriously it's like trying to teach kevin brennan a new app you know what i mean i imagine it's Fruitless. Yeah, I mean, you know, every everybody's gonna oh, have a different no, opinion. Absolutely rude. Good, yeah. good. That's how you like it here on the Shuli Network. So <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, even on. Cool I don't even know what that was about. It was it funny. Was just busting balls the whole time. There was nothing we. we I like Shuli so far. I don't have anything like really. Joke. Again, that was the name's Leo. Can we change your name to Leo, Joe? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Thank you, Leo. Uh, okay, let's see. Ray was absolutely awful. He he and he crapped on Chad a lot and shat on Melton. And he had no Wi-Fi. The producer saved that interview. Uh, listen, at, at the end of the day, true. You know, Ray knew what he was getting into with this interview. He knew all the eyes were and everybody was, said Ray was going to fall flat on his face, and he gave it to him. Exactly <laughs> by saying, "I'm going to put my dog against him." You know, you know. I mean, come on, was I really going to do that? No, I never had. I, I never even hit up Kevin and go, "Let's go live on the side." Never. You know, I don't know how to go live on here. I I, I don't even know how to go live on the old account that we had. Let me tell you something. At no are. point did I text Bob and say, "What the fuck? You're going live against the show on my network, Bob, on our <laughs> sorry, on Bob's network." According Bob's to, network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I never did any of that because I knew right away. Levy Bob dropped out of high school running. after six years. Are we shocked he can't analyze legal matters? He's the Van Wilder of high school. An O and A fan. It's got to go somewhere, baby. Come on. And not for nothing, the dog walking would have been funny. Of course <laughs> it, it would have been funny. We should but do that. If he wants to come week, on next, next Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we'll do? I'll walk my dog. You walk yours. <laughs> Mike, you just go and take a shit. I, you know what? I'm yeah. going to have a dog next week. <laughs> I'm, I'm dog sitting for my daughter. What does Mike uh, do? Oh Who's Mike? Dog. We gotta have a. Dog Is he the producer? Or? Uh, walking he... dogs against Ray Devito. <laughs> You're gonna like the way you look. We we should have everyone walk their dog too and send us videos of it. Who's that? Is that ratings? Would that be ratings, uh, sh uh, Kevin? If uh, if we walk dogs. People love saying people pick up shit. <laughs> That's why they watch Ray. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Bob's dog doesn't sell tickets. Yeah, she's got a uh, Doberman. That, uh, uh, Ray, the shit sorry, out of I shit. just wanted to I grab just... a photo of this. After Leo would shut the fuck up. I love up. that meme of like uh, Brennan looking at his phone now. It's so good. Picture. Uh, it's a, we got to put that as a thing. Is it in the YouTube thing where you can get yeah, that picture? Yeah. Okay. If you get a membership, you can use that emoji. It's in. It's in. It's available for YouTube members. And I think we have a Chad one too. Do you have the Chad one that you can flash up? Uh. Yeah, oh, that's one we got. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> th there was a, we got Perry. That's no. yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the Wi Fi thing made me nuts. It made me nuts. Uh, thank you, Key. Key yeah, Value. Yeah, I mean, look, we're trying Sounds to like a hardware store. To, uh, At you know, Key really Value, the, the key to now. success is okay, you. We're trying to get, we're, we're trying to, you know, we got a new company working with us now. They're going to be doing a lot of stuff. Ugh. And, you know, anyone that's on here is going to catch, you know what I mean? Just any, they're going to catch listeners. Anyone over here on the Shuli program? A legendary name in comedy. To uh, oh, good. Moody's awake. I have a problem. No, 
neither are you asshats. <laughs> it's actually a guy who's done Ray and is known in this goddamn business. Hey, Moody, if you log into our new secret server project, Go on here. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know if you can fix this. Some of the, the problem is some of those videos are 720p. Sorry, guys, this is very inside for one person, but I can't text him right now. Some of those videos are 720p and, and most are 1080. Can you have it fill the canvas automatically if it's 720? Because right now they're shrunken down. And I guess I could go back and re-encode everything blown up. That seems like a pain. It'd be cool if it could adjust the resolution. Whatever the resolution of the video is, blow it up to fill the canvas. Or even Kid Chris back Of that uh, layer. You cried. You would have, you know, <laughs> yeah. you would have been in zero. You know what I can mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. But but then it needs to go back if they're 1080. And then it, ultimately, I need to be able to resize that whole layer if I want to do a permanent Bob, background. Bob is a man who does chat, uh, stuff like uh, that. Scrimp ape, $5. It's illegal. But I basically want it to always fill no matter what size the video is. Darren, no. You know what I'm saying. Uh, it's not a child. Problem. Sorry, everybody. This is a cool project we should have up later today. I understand. Okay. So you have no way of verifying who has won said prize. So it could even be legal, depending on the prize. It could be illegal to give to someone. Like, well, I but know. I think I, I think they're also saying that that if you have to pay to get in, that's that it becomes a lottery. It's so all of it. I There's no guidelines. What he's saying, <laughs> if if he just says this person won, and he doesn't even do it. So there's a couple fronts there that there's mm. some. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, but 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 but. Not to the point, but it's one of those things, surely, where like. We have a lot of ideas during our meetings. A lot of things come up that we're like, yeah, we should do that. And then you kind of look into it and find out like, oh, maybe we can't. Or there's this rule or that rule that we can't get around. Right. So they don't do that. Like oh, I, I remember having to let down uh, um, Anthony Zenhauser and Pat Dixon very gently about how it's probably not going to work. An app and a service. And a on the network. Uh, that was a tough conversation. I didn't miss it. We he caught it. We heard head. what they said. Thank no, you for right. clarifying it to them. Will you calm down? Stop taking this so serious. So by the way, just to clarify, the show is not them fucking dogs. It's just yeah. them <laughs> talking about stories. Of oh my God, you missed <laughs> it. We love you, Scrimp Ape. Chill. There's so much stuff on the radio that's gold, okay? Because it is now. <laughs> we post it up. Is it going off? You act like they won't circle back and talk about everything uh, twice. I'm right. Just just the other day, we... we it is a fun project. After show meeting mm -hmm. where we where we tried to help Bob fix his computer. And anytime Bob gets involved with computer uh. stuff, it's a home run. And and, and we, we're we busting his balls relentlessly. Stretch it back. trying to fix his shit. He's, he's ready to snap. And we don't uh. stop. And so, like, Ray, the amount of ball busting you got Oof. is nothing compared to the shit Bob goes through on a, on a daily basis. Yeah. I mean, it's just fucking we're just busting balls. You know what I mean? It's all about fun. Brent I mean, used to get it relentlessly on Miserable Men. Who? Brent. Brent. Oh, my gosh. Used to <laughs> Don't send Melton a leak. Don't involve me. On Miserable Men. Don't, Don't try to inception me into other shows. It's fucking I don't do shows. Serious. You know what I mean? When you when, when people Milton. just don't, they just don't get it, and they go so far with it, and they're just getting mad. It, it's fucking hilarious. I don't have Melton's email, but if ah! someone wants to uh, don't DM him the link. Guys, turn the lights out. Everybody be still. The young boys in the back. Ooga. Mm -hmm. oh, feel free. No, 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 no. Yeah. We don't exist to these guys. It was uh, a lot of ups. And Their vision is based on movement. Don't move. Uh, over, over 400 <laughs> people watching. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron had the ups. Ray had the downs. It was nice and even. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, 400 plus watching. That's the most viewers he's ever had on, on a show he's we, ever and done. And we had almost four. Uh, plus, uh, you know, quite a lot of super chat money. Mm -hmm. So anytime you want to send a thank you or mm -hmm. feel free, Ray. Wow. What's Ray doing right now? Okay. You know, mm -hmm. Melton clammed up on MLC. I know what MLC is. It's not my show. You guys understand that when I'm hosting a show, I have to talk all the time when I'm not. It's, you know, raft, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> standing up for yourself, Bob. Bob said, I'm dying to know what Lenny from Long Island thinks. All right, Frank, you you are about to be banned. <laughs> uh, love you three. Also, Shulia Pitcher, but 
Reason I only super chat MLC is because they rarely get read uh, here. Try it again today. Same result. Really? Sharp pain in the We're groin. Ball busting leaves no mercy. Wincing in anguish. Buttons and screens. Lost in a digital world. <laughs> Technology's maze. Ancient bones arise. Lost giants of Earth reborn. Dinosaurs roam free. That's great, man. Whoever, like, I, the guy behind, or girl behind those is really good. Like, again. That's his turkey neck, he said. Yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. Uh, I'm telling you, Ray DeVito a lot. <laughs> Fucking Franklin. Uh, maybe Franklin, that's. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. No, I'm just saying, Franklin changed my life with the Perry stuff. You know, yeah. it, it's like I had no idea. That, that was really you know, me, but yeah, you can give Franklin credit. It's fine. I, I was really the first guy. I, didn't, I watched oh. the movie a while. You ago. just can't make everybody happy. You know, it was literally that total BS guy last night was like, God, Milton is so hateable because he won't shut up talking over everybody. Then I shut up and Aaron was talking for 13 seconds and he's like, nobody cares about this Aaron God. And it's like, well, what do you want? <laughs> Like, fuck. If you want Aaron, go watch Aaron. Why is everybody so angry? Why is everybody so angry? I want on I want on there because I, I want yeah. a, I want an, an apology and a thank you from him. Oh, yeah. God. What's I happened? Think, I know I sent, I told Kevin to watch it. You know, I'm sure he watched it. Oh, my God. I, can you imagine how many pictures he has in his phone with that show? If you go on MLC, can Mike and I go live on our channel and watch you? Guys? Yes. I, I, I uh, now everybody's getting it. I can't have it. You know? hey, Joe? Joe, not funny. Okay. Sorry. I'm a comic. I know funny. Not funny, Joe. I went too far. Yeah. Too far. I know funny. Uh, Billy. Billy. Oh, that's hey, Billy the hair puller. Yeah, yeah. Pulls his own hair during sex when he jerks off. Yeah, hmm. I mean, he does it all the time, not just mm -hmm. during sex. Gross. Uh, but, yeah. That yeah, is that'd be weird. Thank you for joining. That would be weird. He's not a weird guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, well, I mean, I'm just... curious to see what Ray's going to say about this. Hmm. What his what his wrap-up's going to be. I put him in a mood that he wasn't, you know, he's going to say that, you know. It's like it wasn't happening. There was nothing. All he had to do was hit me up and say this. You know, are you going to go live today? You know, that's all you have to do is hit me up. I'd be like, Ray, I'm not going live. Or just ignore it. Like, don't show them your kryptonite. Just ignore yeah. it. Just I like, no understand it's a joke. Understand. No, you don't yeah. know who Bob Levy is. He doesn't want to do anything. Much less an extra. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. It's a fact, Send Ray you know a link. Mean? Send Ray a link. See if he wants to come on here. Do your plugs. Going, you fucking left it here. <laughs> I told you to wear it when I was fucking you in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> fell out of your Why mouth. wouldn't they have sent Ray a link already? Come on. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Have fun with yeah. that. Uh, Farber Ray. Ray can't take it. He was literally shaken. Look, yeah. And one thing about it, like, even me. I'm not angry and I don't and want anything. Thanks, thing, Pat. You know I mean, we didn't have to go. <laughs> we went there to support him. And we even did time on the first. I did time on the first show, you know, both of us. <laughs> That's so Ray, Ray, thanks, Philippe. You may the problem it. with Ray's show is, like, all these guys have shows and they don't even know what it is. You know what I mean? Like. I'll super chat a question about the private investigator he had. He seems shady about any in-depth questioning surrounding it. All right. Yeah, I'm not revealing it. I'm not shady about it. I protect sources. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think what. Get over what's it. What's really real? <laughs> like this guy is, was trying all last night to like get me about the private investigator. It's like I'm not revealing it. There's no shadiness. I'm not revealing it. Uh, the Ray Vito wrap up show. I'm not revealing who hired him. I'm not revealing whose idea it was. I'm not revealing any of it. Not, there's no shadiness. I'm not doing it. Fucking list. Bob Levy definitely should be allowed in the pool. Yeah. Get Melton on and I'll super chat. It's like, ooh. Go ahead. Now there's just nothing yeah, going on. Paper bomb. Now you can come. No, I'm putting it next to each other on the other side. Oh, okay. <laughs> All these people are like, what about when Red Bar ordered your merch and opened it on air? It's like, what about it? <laughs> like, please, every show, please open my merch on air. <laughs> like, what are you all talking about? <laughs> Who the hell does he think he is? Not reading two dollars. What? 
I'm going to bring that up today. Kevin's like, somebody's got a high pass filter. That's my thing. <laughs> Can't wait till next week. Nothing under 10. Nothing under he 10. He doesn't read Super Chat. We'll miss him. You know what I mean? Well, we try not to. You know, we really back up and ball. try again. Mm-hmm. That, you're, what, uh, you're, you're the guy at the book signing. There's like 15 people left. You go, hey, I was on. Surely, surely wants you to call and save him. Come on. It's beneath Kevin to read a two. I don't get how Brent thinks the PI is going to burn melt. Yeah, like, how, yeah, I don't even know what they're like. Uh, Kevin D took my $5, did repeat Also, it's stuff. like, what's the inquiry? Like, the investigation's over. Yeah. And the results are known now. Like, it didn't happen. It's got to be Ravish and Ray. Ravish and Ray. Oh. Look at a pretty boy. <laughs> we got a potato. Okay. So excited you knocked Bob out of sync. What are you okay, doing? I'm back. I, I, I can't move anymore. Now, uh, Carter. Uh, I apologize. They didn't come on earlier. But I want to be Nanner Diff. You know what I mean? Started. You can call me Nanner Diff. Now you made the list. Now you you were watching Chad watch this uh, interview? Uh, wait, hold on. I have to think about it. Yes, I was watching Chad watch Ray DeVito. Yes, that's, that's okay. the inception oh, got- move I pulled. Two and questions. I doubled Chad's audience the entire... <laughs> People just need to understand, over here at NLO, we run a fun show. It's fun. We're having fun. Fun is our focus. Fun, fun, fun. The entire time he was hovering around 100, Ray was well over 400. Ray wins today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ray didn't win shit. Uh, sweet potato. Uh, yes, honey bear. Uh, now, okay, so you, you, you see... You seen Ray? How did you think Ray did, and how do you think also Steel Toe did, and also how do you think Chad did? <laughs> great, great question. Yes, Tom, thank you. Honestly, but like I'm, I'm Mike Morse, wasn't right. even paying attention to Ray and Steel Toe. <laughs> I was all about, I was all about Chad. Now, I'm Mike Morse. Uh, a few times, I'm Mike Morse. <laughs> Chad yelled out, "This guy's obsessed with me." As he's doing a stream about <laughs> who is obsessed with him. So there was a little bit of hypocrisy uh, in, in Chad's stream today. Um, I believe he was yelling at Chad for, for not reading Super Chats. Uh, I personally have had Super Chats not read by Chad Zumek. Wow. Yeah, so, again... Uh, the hypocrisy bell. Watching lol cows now. Laughter rung. echoes through the room. Moving entertainment. Onion battalion. Mighty soldiers of flavor. We cry tears of joy. I don't. These are really good though. Like I want a coffee table book. You you would have you would have heard and seen if if Leo Joe does the guy do, does the guy want me to give him credit? Does he want me to read his name? Who's who's doing these? Because I can go look it up. You just move things along. Because I will give you credit. I mean, these are amazing. Let me know in the next slam piece. You don't want to hear people speak for fucking 10 minutes uninterrupted. Like, it's got to go somewhere. We got to keep things moving and along. Also, you know? he talked when uh, Ray's internet went out. That's the other thing. Wilson's, I think he's angling for my job. Oh, okay. Well, that that's a whole different story. We can talk about that. Hey, if you want to suck our dicks, too, you come in here. You just You don't have to, you know. Are you talking to the pool guy again? Is he outside? No, oh, no, I'm talking to the guy. He's coming for your job. So, so Chad was uh, perplexed by uh, by the whole thing, which I yes. love. And then uh, and this then, guy's so watching think, and like uh, peeking around uh, me. Well, That's Mike Morse. Watching, you were just watching Chad, so you don't I know. I was really just watching Chad. I was not paying too much attention to Ray. So well, Chad, I, so. yeah, yeah. Well, Chad was I, awful. <laughs> Chad, Chad was a disaster. And as as he kept yelling how bad of a podcaster Ray was, he could not even keep track of what he was. It was just it was just a wonderful train wreck. I think I will be uh, pulling it down and making that one a Patreon only very soon. I don't know what it means when you said this scene won't automatically switch anymore. Again, Email me and explain that or I'll call you later. Potato than watching Chad. <laughs> now and you- I did... I did, for the record, send as many Super Chats over to Ray as I could. I declined to accept Super Chats today. I said they should all go to Ray. I only wanted to steal from Chad, not from Ray. (laughs) 
Obviously, what a mess. you're clapping because you're never going to pay Ray. So, yes, I was giving <laughs> the super chats to you. Yes. I will pay Ray. Uh, Hold on, but you said Chad was mad at me about sniping the stream. What? I, what? No, no, I don't want to upset the <laughs> is it This is on Twitter? Uh, see if he gets uh, mad at, at, at uh, Mike. Oh, wait, I love this. What Chad kept bragging that. Somebody tag me in that Twitter thread so I can Chad. see it. <laughs> Well, actually, there'd be no Because if Chad was talking about me this morning on Twitter, he obviously well, didn't tag me in it. I didn't see it unless unless I just missed it. Show. Thanks, Bob. Well, no, or he deleted it again, I maybe. I don't know. told him, hey, man, everyone's making money but you. Why don't you do a show about them? Right. Right. Well, no, he thought of it, according to Chad. The funny thing, too, I think my chat pointed out many times there were many Stuttering John parallels in Chad's rants. Mm-hmm. You know, it was after all I've done for you, Ray, you know, everything that Ray has, everything, everything that's good in Ray's life is because of his relationship with Chad. Right. Yes. So, you know, he, he introduced Chad to the MLC. Uh, he yeah. introduced Chad to Ari Jane, who's one of his uh, loyal chatters. He introduced Chad Who? to or Ray to every like Ray would be. I mean, let's face it. Ray is not at a high spot right now (laughs) but he would be even lower if not for his association with chad zumick look at this he's he's backing you up roy's backing you up there you go yes i believe roy was the one that made that statement in my chat yes thank you roy funny there would be no anybody without carl who Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Chad stand up or lift (laughs) A new viewing distraction (laughs) Uh, People got pictures of Chad With arrows pointed at different parts of his body (laughs) Patrick I sent you an email about it Hold on He he should fight back You know know, there's nothing wrong with that You know truthfully Hold on Bob I gotta stop you there Cause no but some of the stuff was going too far I'll stay anonymous Okay Uh Aaron's sister, like the kids, the ex-wife. It gets off of why you're fighting. Shuli said, Chad said you copied his idea and asked his viewers if he should still go with it. I mean. Everybody on the screen right now is fair game. But even even <laughs> his current <laughs> wife, who is right, on the screen. I guess I copied. You're not, is fair Absolutely. game. Make right. the pictures. Make copied the Chad's streaming but idea. The mother, the sister the ex-wife the ex-wife's husband i don't even catch chad Chad streaming chad usually streams while i'm asleep you know i do these morning streams then i'll fucking like crash for a few hours they went after chad's family and started i didn't know like i can't keep track of what chad's streaming he'll stream the morning shows when i stream he'll stream the evening shows who cares it's a weird everybody stream it nine people stream snipe me stream sniping them who gives a shit i think that has anything to do with uh with what you're pissed at? Are you yeah, pissed no. at her mother, or are you pissed at, at them? Like, <laughs> On one hand, Chad will say some shit like, right. you know, everyone's right. talking about me, I'm uh, the star, and then on the other hand, it'd be like, everybody just yeah. couldn't do anything if they wouldn't talk I, about I, me, and it's I, like, well, what do you want? Me of Ray thinking about Chad. Do you want it or not want it? I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> We're not sure. I don't know. Patrick so Mike is a professional I laugher. I just know four ninety nine was attached to it. So Chad so stream was garbage. I tried to watch both. Uh, he Dave made the Apple same bland died. points. He usually can't I shake the hangover died. until. The, okay, I don't know if he's Everybody. drinking. Zumok did write that. I read the tweet. No, 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 I'll have to go look when the show's over. Mm. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to launch another project today. You guys will uh, love or hate. Chad will probably. It was an idea from something Chad said. Uh, oh, this is important. Listen, Shawn Michaels won after Bret Hart. You got to love Chad. I love Chad. Chad entertains he me. He was single. Single men have less skeletons in the closet. Don't attack strangers on the street. You don't know how crazy they are. <laughs> I don't know how crazy you are. I don't even know what that chat was. <laughs> what the hell I'm is a little me? scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a good point. The problem is Chad believes anything and everything random people send him in DMs and then attempts to justify his bad behavior by using that as an excuse. It's a very feminine trait. Mm. Damn, that dude just called you a bitch, Chad. Wow. That's straight up. Yeah. Damn. Biatch. It's worse than a cuck. As the late stuttering John says, Chad is a loser. 499 (laughs) reels. Our boy reels. Well, I mean... 
What did you think of Ray's performance? Me? Big boss man? I my biggest issue was the Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh that 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 put, pissed me off. Mm-hmm. And then uh you know I it's weird because look, I understand Ray doesn't have a beef with Aaron. So it's 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 not gonna be an interview where Ray's like, Thanks for joining us. Let's get into this. Yeah, but then why do it? Uh, were we just asking you know, Aaron, about his childhood in radio? Like, what? what's the interview? This is a hot-button issue on the internet right now. And it we- isn't. This isn't a big deal on the internet. These guys really think, like, this is their little dabble verse thing is, like, the internet. They think that's the whole internet. And let's get to let's get to the show. <laughs> uh, and, and that's where the Super Chats come in. Yeah. And so when he was like, well... It's so cringe when everybody's just like, we're the biggest thing on the net right now. It's like, <laughs> this is not... <laughs> Not even ticking. Guarding this Mm -hmm. question or whatever they want to do and put it up. Put it up. We put up we put up everything on our shows. If we if we Yeah, the problem is like an unknowledgeable host reading a question and not knowing how to follow that up and really get in there and know the details of what's going on and hold a guy to an answer. If you're not gonna do that, what's the point? The I'm thinking of splitting the super chats with them, blah blah blah. It's like, dude, it, you don't have to ask anything. The audience is going to ask the questions. You just have to let them ask it. That's it. Mm-hmm. And that's for Joe. No, that's not it. Because I think if it was up to Then Ray, it just turns into a bad Reddit AMA where he gets to control the narrative. So that's what it was. It was awful. Uh, with the help of a producer or a second mic, can put on a great show. Well, that's why yeah. that's why I brought him over here. Believe it or not, I think I think Ray has. But don't forget, that's the opinion of a potato who thought he could put on a great show but with the puncher. It's hard broadcasting solo. Not everybody can do it. I can. So like these I guys are just ruining their brand all over the place. of somebody who just over promising, under delivering. That's it. And a pool. I don't. I don't even need and cigarettes. Cigarette. Yeah, and cigarette. A mic and cigarettes. Thank you. Engineer. Yeah. Uh, you know, there is a lot of other people need a supporting cast to bring out their best. So I don't think you're uh, that far off with that assessment. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, that Leo is. <laughs> uh, right, it's because I love Mike Morse the most. That's what we do around here. We bring yes. it all. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, what abusive people always say, right? There's the Chad Cuck Joe. Uh, yeah, Chad Cuck <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Can't chuck, chuck Joe and nobody can. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mike, write it. Go write it. Gina is hot. Yeah. I'm going to say this Gina to chat on was. MLC today, too. Say what you want about Steel Toe, but he showed up and answered questions. Yeah, exactly. It's in the past or Chad's favorite. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. You're right. I, I, I mean, he didn't I, answer. Everybody keeps going like, on. hey, he did answer the questions. Like, he didn't. He didn't. There were very few moments where his feet were held to the fire by Joe, and that's it. Walk off. Yeah. Uh, Everything else, he controlled the spin. Everything else. No, gonna, yeah. We have one coming up in, like, two weeks. I think we have a guest. I think it's actually next week. Well, next when's week. next week? I'm, well, when next week I'm in, uh, i got to go to the wedding, right? Remember yeah, we can do it earlier in the week. Okay. Yeah, we'll find a time. Yeah, it'll be, uh, and then you'll get it out of the coffin the week after. You know what? I hate to say this, but Bob's actually right. We have it scheduled for a couple yeah. of Thursdays from now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, Bob, what if you get sick and you can't go to the wedding? Crowns of YouTube fame. I... Creators reign supreme online, views and likes their throne. Bruised old potato, sitting in the dark, alone, rotting, wasted life. Crisp, fresh onion globes, peeling back layers of love, umami delight, Gee, thanks. Umami delight. Uh, have the option to turn off his camera and unwind. Of course. He, he yeah. texted me that he was going to do it last night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this morning at 1 o'clock in the morning. He was threatening me with it. I'll just yeah. go do it on my channel. Was it a threat or was he offering <laughs> a, a, a suggestion on to make the show better? What, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, I it, love Ray. And boy, do I know the back of my hands. Yeah, it was. It <laughs> was Bob like is it, Bob is mean, and and if that's gonna be the case, then I'll take my ball home, and uh, and and no. that's it. Oh, you meant Aaron? No, I Aaron. I had no doubt was gonna. Once he agreed, mm-hmm, I yeah. knew he was gonna do the interview no matter what. Plus, he's also doing it with Ray. 
who doesn't hate him, doesn't have an issue with him. So, you know, all you got to deal with is is the comments. Yeah, and it's not like uh, I hate him and his wife or any of that, anything like that. It's not that. It was just a, it was just a misunderstanding from the beginning that should have never came up, you know? It, and I've, I, I've never done anything to – I've only done good things, you know what I mean? That's all. It's nothing mad. I'm not mad at anything. I'm just like, what the fuck? And uh, I guarantee, I know uh, Aaron would do this, and I know Chad would, but if there was an opportunity, Shuli, for you to have Aaron and Chad on a show together, Aaron would do it. Yeah, of course. Chad yeah, he would, would not. He Chad would. would not show up. He would bitch out. You're right. You're 100% right. Wow. Genius. Uh, mm-hmm. Good job setting up, Aaron. You and Patrick are a team. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know we were, but. Now you know. The team. Uh, wow, that's, I, I want out. Wait a minute, raising the chat. Raising the chat? Yeah, my temper tantrum is moving into a fl- full blown hissy fit. <laughs> oh, that is Ray. He spells yeah. it La Vida. <laughs> that's uh, Southern Italian spelling. <laughs> but you know what the funny thing is with Ray? Ray is a great guy and very, you know. He doesn't get mad. If people constantly go that he's a great guy, he's a great guy, it's not good. You know what I mean? And to go after anybody, I mean, you, the last person you want to attack is Levy. Trust me. Trust me. It's not going to end well, Ray. Apologize immediately. Some yeah, I, don't, I hate apologies anyway. I do hate them. I, I, that's why, you know what I mean? Just go on. You don't fucking apologize. apologize. Anybody, you can do anything in life and then say you're sorry and it's forgiving. No, I don't believe that. I just think, hey, man, I said I, I shouldn't have done that by move, you know? But, by saying, you know, saying sorry, it doesn't, it, it's, it's ridiculous. So you never say sorry to your wife after an argument? Uh, only with her, right? You have to, uh, you know. Truthfully, uh, and and anyone else, I don't, I don't let it. I don't like it. Yeah. Well, what if you know you're wrong? I say whatever. If that made you mad, then you know that's what I say. I I did that. I did that with Howard. I never apologized. I said, I, I'm sorry. You're upset by what I said. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? I wouldn't I, directly say it. Oh, like, listen, that's. A lot of people do that, but sometimes you are wrong, and you should. Uh, yeah, I know that, but I, 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 I'll say I'm wrong. I won't say I'm sorry. Ray, is very nice. mm-hmm. yeah. Listen, most comics are. He's known <laughs> as the clit of comedy. He's so sensitive. Jesus. Right, but you you save that sensitivity behind the scenes. You don't you don't fucking you don't flip over your. Hands All right, well, this go. is over now. Wrap it up, guys. Wait a minute. XM has a thing uh, when you're. When you're Bob, you're never wrong. Dang I mean, you. what even is this yeah. anymore? The minute you let a potato on, it has nothing to do with any of this. It's like, what are we doing? I not to be. I try to yeah, clit chat. Well, yeah, he's very sensitive. He's got a clit. Everybody <laughs> just loves this potato to pop on and like. Has Ray ever had a girlfriend? Uh, Let's ask him. Ladies and gentlemen. Is he here? Star of that interview from Rock Bottom. Ooh. Hold on. I'm going to go live against him. <laughs> the host of Rock Bottom on the Dumb Shuli Network, ladies dumb, and gentlemen. Dumb, dumb. Oh boy, hey, Devito. Hey. Oh, hey, What's up, guys? He's I'm- down in the roach-infested corner of this condo, but it's working great now. It, yeah. It's you know what? It's working better here than it did at my buddy's place. He's he was like, "Hey, I got great Wi-Fi." Um, I did look wait, into wait, it. Wait a minute. Hold on, you were at your buddy's place for the Steel Toe interview. Yeah, because he said he had great Wi-Fi. Oh, I told you. I knew that this condo had good Wi-Fi. Why was he doing that? Why did he leave? Why, If Ray knew this was such a big interview, why would he do it from the condo when he could go? I would have paid for a hotel for you to make sure you have good Wi-Fi. Uh, and now it turns out you did go to a place that was supposed to have better Wi-Fi, and yeah, it didn't. Yeah. So I, I will say I was wrong so about that. So you should that. have not done anything. Uh, you fucked it ahead, up. Ray. And I would have told you to stay at the condo. There's good Wi-Fi. Yeah. I know. Yeah, Say I'm sorry. To Bob. I didn't know. I, I didn't know if Bob. I did not know if Bob was fucking around or not. Like I didn't know. I told you. Yeah, you told me at like you. seven in the morning or whenever. When I woke up. 
Yes. Oof. So and I had... told you, I texted you today. It was a joke. He was never, and you go, well, I'm still going to address it. So <laughs> after you knew it was a joke, you still said, I'm going to address it. Well, I saw that at like two in the morning and it, and I went to bed trying to go to sleep thinking about this. Like, what the fuck, man? So how many uh, drinks did you have last night? Uh, a few, uh, right. a few. <laughs> but I still didn't sleep well. Cause I was, that was in my head. I'm like, here God I am. Damn it. Get shit ready. Fucking stream yard. All these so, shows in their shitty stream yard. You take it out on Bab. Well, listen, before you go around apologizing to everybody here, which we'll get to, uh, <laughs> I owe everyone an apology. Yeah. Let me ask you, uh, you, you've had a chance now to sit back and decompress uh, your thoughts on the interview with Aaron from Steel Toe. Well, I was annoyed with the Wi-Fi, and then I also felt bad bitching about the Wi-Fi because I'm in my buddy's place who's letting me do it while he's giving up his living room for me to do it. So I'm like, oh, man, like he's going to be like this fucking ungrateful. So they were panties. Uh, no, no, she only said that before the interview. Go ahead, go. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Um, but uh, I, I, like I said, I think you guys uh, send it, uh, uh, said it. I don't have like a beef with Aaron. I wanted to talk about some stuff. I didn't know the details of the text message. People sent me questions. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. Uh, I thought Joe did great. I, I like Joe jumping in. He knew, he knew more in depth stuff than I knew. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know the details of the Bob uh, text message thing. Uh, I thought Aaron was great. Uh, I give kudos to Aaron. I thought he was great. And I think and Aaron's just kid, kind of like a floppy I phony, I though. Talking about it. He, he could do more shows with, with you guys. Well, who, Aaron? Yeah. yeah like, I, I don't think he would be uh, against it. Like, I. I'm muted. <laughs> Imagine if Shuli's like, yeah, we want more a steel toe on the yeah, network. Potential there for something good. A wow. Bit, a, a show, whatever. Wow. I have no problem with any of that. Yeah. Uh, though. So a lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> felt that that Joe was rude to you. No one, a lot of people, no one felt that rude. really. No one said Joe was rude to you. Did you think Joe was rude or overstepped? No, and I also was thankful he was there because when he was talking, I also didn't know if he was doing it to talk or he was doing it because my Wi-Fi was froze. Okay. Yeah, froze. Oh, wait, for the record, for those few people, in the, do we not text each other? Are we not friends? We talk on the phone about the show. It's not like I, I think they think I'm fucking with you like all the time or something. No, no. No, you're you're the nicest one to me. <laughs> that's the game he plays, Ray. Be careful. <laughs> he add lured that, me into his trap. Hard if knows. Uh, <laughs> add that comment to the apology list. Thank you. Go ahead. So now you text me at 1 a.m. last night, uh, upset about Bob and and uh, threatening to go do this show on your own YouTube channel. <laughs> and and I got to say that that was uh, that was a weird text to get from you. I, I thought he was being serious. At 1 a.m. I seriously thought he was being serious. Because what also pissed me off, which I took out today, uh, on the because I was listening to MLC, and Chad just making up all these fucking lies like he fucking does. Fucking so Chad. On, on air with Melton saying this. And he was in the chat saying, I, I, I wasn't on Melton's podcast. So I had nothing to do with it. And Bob and Kevin are sitting there believing him. Like, yo, yeah, really? It's like, yeah, like Chad. I told you guys I'm that. Sorry, my acting is time. too good. <laughs> Too good. This chat will get you. Well, you guys are actually believe. Like you're actually fucking. I believe Chad. everything that's said on the internet. <laughs> if Chad says it, it's you're got like twenty percent chance of being true. Twenty. Why are you so mad then? Uh, no, I'm right. Like, I'm like it's fucking gospel. Everything he says. The guy. He's 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 lying. Fucking he's Zuma. Like, that's hold all on, he hold does. On. Uh, uh, Ray is lying again right now. He so wants to be me. Who's that? The thing from? about Chad, Chad is like, uh, but, but like the lying. minute you see Chad lying about stuff, it's like you go, okay, well that's the box Chad goes in. I, 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 nothing important in my life will ever rely on Chad now because I because he lies about crazy shit. I can't take him. Genuinely, yeah, like, so he's like, yeah, he's so obsessed on. with now, me while he's now, watching now, my fucking stream. Yes. Now I want to. Now I you you bring something interesting up. So you're okay with Chad and with 
with uh, Melton and with uh, BYB and every other podcast out there is is sniping the show and comment live commenting on it. What are you going to do about it? None of that upset you. Bob <laughs> upset you. It, it hurt me that he because he like joked about it and then I thought he was going to go live. Who and cares? So that that hurt. That hurt. Like I'm like, come on. Why? Man. I'm Wait already in my own Chad, head Chad, about Chad this. Just, hold on, Chad. Has said another one. He said, and it's only going to be a matter of weeks before Ray gains a lot of weight to try to look like me. <laughs> wow. He <laughs> say, saying you have a future fat ahead of you. I hope not. Nice. Because I get gout as it is. If I put on any more weight, I was kidding, Ray. Right? And he and Chad didn't hit me up. Yeah, so uh, Bob uh, Ray was not kidding. You hurt him, so go ahead and uh, work that out with Ray. Go ahead. If it upset you that I'm browsing some marijuana cartridges to well, order, then you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna get it. I'm sorry. Never, never. Well, that's fine, man. And Ray, yeah. have I ever hurt you in any way? I brought up that one time that that upset what? me when. Uh, when I was, uh, I spent all day going to Kumia, and then every time I talk, you had him cut off my microphone. That was a it waste was, of. It, it was hilarious. <laughs> you weren't a guest. It was hilarious. You yeah, weren't I'm a guest so on the show. It, <sighs> what happened? Oh, he left. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What did you call out? It was funny because of the fact uh, we, you know, we would have done that with fucking, we, we fuck with Barry when he comes in. It's like. It, yeah, at least they didn't funny. go through your. At least they didn't go through your bags like they do Barry Ribs when he comes up, <laughs> <laughs> bringing up everything the guy travels with throughout the city out, out on the show. Listen, that's the show. I mean, you know, Bob, Bob, a, a fucking amazing comic, goes down to Florida to do Bubba the Love Sponge show, and next thing you know, they got him tied up to some fucking torture, torture contraption, right. making him fucking vomit, like. And he didn't, he's not a stunt guy. Like, he doesn't do those bits. But sometimes he, he ate blue teas out of women's asses <laughs> for years. Uh, that's he, not a stunt. That's a gift. Yeah, 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 he was that hungry, is, Ray. People wanted that. There was no getting people away from wanted it. People wanted it. Right. Uh, it would have been riots. And I'm not kidding about that. Right. Right. Yeah, and people refused to leave the venues if Bob <laughs> didn't grab a woman out of the audience against her will and <laughs> no. eat blue cheese out of her head. <laughs> what a closer. You Imagine the headliners that? trying to take a nap and raising it. No, no. That one, like, <laughs> fuck was I thinking? People went nuts. It was like it was like we let lions out to kill the Christians. <laughs> <laughs> What what about the people that weren't familiar with you that just thought they were going to see like some ventriloquist or something? Well, they they learned quickly. (laughs) Then their their mom's getting dragged on stage. Remember in Baltimore? I was just going to say, we had a few times where people came out thinking it was a completely different show. Uh, We did a Killers of Comedy show that... uh, table of of seven or eight black people uh yikes that's way too many and i go to bob i go uh i think they think this is a kings of comedy show and <laughs> yep, and yep though the clown was the first one out and they lasted through about three minutes of his set when he pulled that giant black dildo out they they just all picked up their shit and, uh, <laughs> that's funny uh, yeah, I, I remember one. when I did that. That was for, oops. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard one of them go, "Say no kings of comedy" on their way out, and uh, I was like, "Yeah." It's so funny that Cardiff seen us at a place. He he seen yeah. us live back then. That was cool. Yes. Yeah, was not Yucca. Yucca wasn't on that show. Yeah, but it comes all. Over. I think Colin might have been on this show. What's yeah. happening now? This whole thing just turned into member berries now. So go ahead, whenever you want to apologize, uh, whoever you want to start with, feel free. Go this ahead. is just what uh, is this? I apologize to everyone. I apologize to everyone. And when I, I think I clarified when I said, I did not mean to say the dumb Shuli network. I meant to say that was dumb, Bob, to do that on because wow, I do came consider out totally this wrong. I do consider this also Bob's network. He's a pretty big deal in this network. Can we yeah. admit that? He's all right. I'm I know. As, as he puts up <laughs> the, uh, yeah. So I apologize for for that. That was. So this is just 
Nothing. Yeah, what do you, what and do you and I apologize against? for... Uh, Look, you can tell when someone's just, like, staying on air to get Super Chats. Like, it was the same thing at the end of Ray's show. It's just, like, there was nothing left. There was nothing to say. There were no questions. They were just sitting there waiting for new Super Chats to come in. That's what this is turning into. What are we doing? Are we over? Can we leave? Then I was going to read the chats. But like I said, I'm new to this getting chats while trying to do an important interview. Yeah. That's so the, I, I'm new to that. That was new to me. Yeah, I, I'm going to always read every super I mean, chat. Ray, if the chats weren't there, you act like it would have been great, like it would have been a real Pulitzer Prize winning piece. Yes, it's been made. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. You're, hey, you're this I close. See, I see you're, you're, you're wearing a, he's wearing a Montreal Expos hat, so I guess he's – easily switches baseball team uh oh yeah it's, i'm not a dodgers fan it's just a brooklyn dodgers I'm just a fan yeah, of baseball but, these te- neither of those teams exist i'm a I Cleveland, feel uh, the brooklyn dodgers are going to do this year ray yeah <laughs> wait a minute hold on i want to read this from the chat it's uh-huh. amazing he has a b on his head because he was so boring today <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nain or Diff Dollar Night Night Port Nain or Diff The A because of Joe and You need two uh, N's Nain or Diff I have a question for you You can call me Nain or Puss Nain or Puss And guess what I love Nain or Puss You can call me <laughs> which, which was more divisive <laughs> You know what Nain or Puss Nain or Puss Like I was supposed to come out And like F- fucking be a giant asshole like i don't know yeah he's just confused things. he doesn't even know what he's supposed to do like what was i supposed to do it's like be informed on the topic ask questions and hold him to them you know interview what was i supposed to do come out and just insult him and be an asshole it's like n- no no house says he had five minutes where you never said a word while the producer took over and right sat right with a dumb look yeah on it was face. awful that, right i, right. I mean objectively it was out. awful <laughs> also, actually i think he's probably referencing the rant i went on about the text to bob which yes. Ray's not in our group text and doesn't right. know that whole story so i was the only one at there at the moment to ask him about that yeah because i was asked someone sent me the question to ask him about the text to bob uh, I but I I had no idea what the de- the details of it. I just knew that there was a text saying that there was going to be blowback towards Bob. That's all Hold that I second, knew. Right, right. That's let all that read, I had. Let me read this one. Uh, how is it that you've been doing com- uh, comedy for <laughs> how many years? You've been reading for how many years? No, okay. You've been doing comedy for twenty for eight, twenty years about. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be covering MLC. I'll let you guys go watch that on your own. I'm trying to just uh, snipe everybody's streams today. I'm going to tap out of this. You guys can go watch it over at Truly Network. Um, You know, whatever. Uh, Thank you for joining me today. It was a very interesting watch. It was, you know, we didn't really learn anything. Aaron had a real couple of moments of honesty I didn't expect. He did admit that I don't sexualize April. It's all based on nothing but his little inside emotions that there's nothing I sexualize April about. He sexualizes April more than anybody. And, uh, again, watch our prize night show from last night. Nobody likes onions.com slash winner is where you can go to register for your wrongful loss of the, uh, steel toe lotteries. And again, my offer to steel toes on the table. I know they won't take it. Um, but that seems to be on them. Join the channel, $1.99. We're marching towards 500 Thank you so much. Like the video on your way out, if you don't mind. And tell a friend about Nobody Likes Onions. Join the overdose, buy a hat, get a shirt, save a shrimp. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded and just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet Excuse me, miss, are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show Boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking 
Seen that no point, it's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a part of your soul. Gonna make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold, the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned. Other radio shows are straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the youngins that nobody like past. Have my homeboy lame prank call him fast. Have him thinking that he hates them like right before he berates them. And the way that he bases them, put him right on blast. Like Patrick is an asshole and his show won't last. And every time I call, then he treated.